my screen open? I have there to be shit. Okay. Well, I've already unmuted and went, so, you know. Good yeah. for you. Yeah, everything's working on my side. So this is the stuff we usually should not start off with. <laughs> I mean, right. it's just random stuff, you know? Yeah. True. Though, I'm going to go ahead and start doing some that we should have been doing for the past 23 and this is 23rd, so we're doing it now. So 22 episodes. You should be introducing, saying what the hell this podcast is from the very beginning. So, yeah. Uh, I'm already screwing it up. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Welcome to the, the Nerd Ensemble, which is basically a podcast where anything nerdy, games, technology, music, freaking random stuff that just happened on Twitter or in the news... Uh, and our personal favorite trashing YouTube, which we will have a little segment of that later. And yeah, so my name is Nexus, and we have my co-host Sweden Boy Gaming or Sweden Cat Boy, depending on where you're watching. Yeah. So yeah, here we are with this kind of stuff. We're gonna start doing that every episode now, just because it's technically yeah. standard for us to do. Standard, yeah, and also the second issue is that I have to do two names because this this is watched on Sweden Catboy Gaming on Twitch and then it's uploaded on YouTube later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that I may should have switched, but I still keep it as the old name because I'm lazy. Sounds about right with you. Okay, what in the world happened there? I don't know what's happening in the world. Well, I'm usually I'm supposed to be uh, compressed, meaning like I'm not supposed to go into the red, but I just went a few bars into it when I said something like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't Sorry steal for I clipped my your ears. Thing, okay? Sorry for clipped your ears. Don't steal my thing about going into the red. Hmm. I mean, granted, people just turn the audio down. It's not an issue. It just whenever it clips, that's an issue. But, uh, yeah, another thing I might change in the future is just take away music. For the moment, I have it for the hell of it. But later, I'll probably just take it away. No music, just us talking, yeah. which. I mean, unless you can find fine, something that's like but not. more like a good sound. I just want like a music. good, like, ambience or instrumental. Like, I just want like good music for that. And if anybody knows any good stuff out there, do let us know through that any. That is Royal Free. Anything. Yeah, Royal Free, by the way. Don't. Don't make it anything that's going to cause any copyright claims or issues. So, yeah. So, basically, just, like, get a hold of us somehow. Like, you know, YouTube comments, social medias, that kind of stuff. Let's just do at and, you know, what we just said our names. At next I would say, at Sweet and Catboy, whatever, just mention it. Oh, and put, like, yeah. hashtag TNE so we know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Because uh, that will be a little bit random. It's just like, you're like, hey, here's this random song. Like, uh, for what? <laughs> I mean, you can always send random songs too if you want to. That's not the initiative. I mean, I guess, but it depends on the song. I don't need freaking, uh, freaking polka music just sent to me out of nowhere. <laughs> Nothing against polka music. It is that it, if just random polka music, just like, okay. Mm-hmm. Great start, great start. We're doing beautiful. Yep. Wait, isn't this a standard start for us? True. Actually, here's the thing. We normally introduce the podcast about now. That's the other yeah. thing. Yeah, we usually do it about now. That's how bad we usually are. Which, I mean, going forward, <laughs> I want to try to make it a little bit more standard to do it right there in the beginning. So it's just like, makes sense. I mean, see, this is the way I see it. We're probably going to be doing this podcast for quite a while. Unless, like, something happens. The only two things that would ever happen in that case would be if one of our internets gets shut down for the longest time. And then that would be kind of one way to do it. The other way would be as if... Uh, the world decides to, like, stop doing nerdy stuff. That... And then the third bit was if there was like some like crazy bad blood between us or something, which never really happens. I mean, sure, you know, all friends have their spats, but we don't really get that crazy. 
But I think that's the thing with us. We, I don't think we will ever really have that kind of bad way unless it's over something that's so bad. But it's also because I think so we stupid. keep all, most of those stuff that makes people have bad blood out of our lives from each other. Yeah. Our biggest dispute is, is what games are good. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, granted, a lot of the games that mean you were like polar opposites most of the time. There are some that actually aren't yeah. that bad. Don't yeah, I mean, you like Halo, I like good games, you know how it is. I mean, I already agree with you that, you know, some Sony stories are better. Yeah, but we have also come to that, that I feel like that's have been a lot of the difference between Microsoft and Sony is that the micro all the Microsoft ex exclusives always been like, they, they have been a lot of multiplayer and not as focused on the game storyline. Yeah, they well, PlayStation like, random other had done... Wow, you lagged. Well... Green, though. Yeah, but is Skype having issues? You know, open a way to avoid issues on Skype. Right, You know. Oh my god, you sound terrible. Sound fine. I think it's you. Let's do. See if we do this. I'm gonna recall you. Oh boy. Uh, let me mute uh, chat audio while you do that, but go ahead. Okay. Well, he calls back. Okay. He's unmuted now. Yeah. I, just in case, like, your uh, the Skype thing, like, call noise came on, I just made sure to mute. Yeah. Did you have time to mute? It did. It worked. Okay. Normally you don't sound laggy. I mean, do you have your VPN on? Uh, I think I turned it off earlier. Yeah, it's off. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Hmm. But yeah, basically, as we said, like, Sony focuses more on story-based games than Microsoft does. Right. You also said that you wanted me to get into the Gears series, right? Uh huh. We, you said it was it the two first I had to play alone or the first one? Wait, what? You said one of them wasn't co op or some of them no, wasn't co op. No, they're all co op. Ah. You know, all, you all of the Gears games are co op, so that's no issue. Ah. I thought you said the first one wasn't. No, no, that's good. Hmm. So, considering you just had to step out, or, you know, like, recall, I have to put my dog outside the... outside of my room, because she's starting to cry. Aww, poor dog. You know dogs. Hmm. But do I really know dogs? <laughs> He'll be back after like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> Cry at the gate again. Like, let me in. Tickle dog. My hand is frozen. Get it away from the air. I don't even know what it's it could be because I held my Monte Dew with it earlier. There's always that too, especially if it was pretty cold. <sighs> I don't know, it's not even cold in my room. That's the issue. <laughs> okay, it's working now. 
Ah, a normal day at the Nerd Ensemble. Oh, for sure. Just like a bunch of random awkward silences and random stuff. It's just, just like, it's basically the small talk of like you, it's some random friend you haven't talked to in like a few years and you're just like doing random bits of small talk or just like you met up with a random family member. They're trying to ask a bunch of stuff. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I don't talk with my family, so that would be an issue. I mean, I don't really talk with them either, but, you know, it happens. You know, accidents happen. <laughs> right. So, as a way to actually begin anything, first of yeah. all, what in the hell is going on with the music? I don't know. What is going on with the music? Tell me a story about what is happening with your music. <laughs> And for people wondering, I have not slept properly for the last like three days. It just so, like I'm a little bit stop monitoring it apparently. Anyway, so okay, forget the story of the music. No one cares about that. So Aww. yeah, we'll go ahead and I'll leave something a little bit for later. But we we'll just go ahead and get into the trash talks. Which Just part? To... The one when I talked about uh, a certain kids show or the YouTube's trash talk? Because we have both of them to do. Because you know. Oh, I was about to say, wait, what kids show? We're talking about like, oh, right, you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so because we, we know, <laughs> you know, both of them can go for a while because it's probably. I'm just gonna say this: most kids shows back in the day has has issues, especially. These kids shows we're gonna talk about, and this mm. that type of kids show. <laughs> yeah, that type of kids show where it's just like yell at the screen. Is it the kids gonna answer back? <sighs> <laughs> so I guess we'll go and segue into that, considering we're already talking about it. So yeah, <laughs> everybody's favorite kids show where it would always try to teach you Spanish, even though it failed miserably. Maybe some kids and got English, it, but they forgot it. Like. Live this way down. That's we messed were up. taught that's, English. That yeah. is messed up. <laughs> we were the whole idea is to be taught Spanish in the show. Yeah, but then you have the dubbed or the sub dubbed versions. <laughs> okay. That's kind of that's kind of interesting though. If you think about it, like if they dub it in Russia, what other language do they gonna teach them? Because like I don't most... think they're gonna teach them English. I feel like in most foreign countries, it would mainly be English because at the same time, it's like the point of the show is is for the kid to learn something other than what they already know. So they yeah. would assume you already know whatever your uh, native language is. So basically, I guess for most people, it would just be like, oh, hey, the show will teach you English. Yeah. And then you have like, oh, that would do be interesting in UK though because they don't really have Spanish as an important language. Uh, probably French like, then. Yeah, French I feel like with England and say with us, that's so a thing. Think about this: Australia and England doesn't really need Spanish. Hmm. Let's see. So anyway, uh, for people who's just wondering what in the hell we're talking about, it's Dora the Explorer. Yeah. Ah. So I'm actually gonna check this. Uh, UK dub. What do they teach? Oh, it's a lost UK dub. So apparently it's not very known. Huh. What do we got here then? I don't care about that. I'm caring what do they teach. So I was actually very curious when you said. It. I'm like, hmm. What do they teach? They still do Spanish? I mean, if it would be like. It Unless they teach Gaelic, that would be a thing because, you know, Scotland and Ireland. Um. Not saying. You just said who was in the dub. It's not saying anything about it being, uh. <laughs> what do you know? So I was looking, so there's... scrolling down, and on Reddit, it literally says in Swedish, Door the Explorer, she teaches English. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, let's see, somebody was uh, asked. Oh, well, what? Okay. Okay, so basically just everyone saying English and in America it's Spanish. Uh, that's something. Mm hmm. And in the UK, apparently, obviously they had their lost dub, but it just, they just used the American version. So, literally, the American version using a lot of stuff that they say. Or I should say we say, considering I'm American, but uh, it's a tragedy. Regardless, yeah, it's just, they're using a lot of that in UK. It's like, that's not the best of ideas. Imagine trying, yeah, it seems imagine like trying most to say it's countries... like this many degrees, or it's like, hey, it's uh, 10 feet away, and everyone in the UK is just like, oh, what are they talking about? <laughs> Granted, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they were also, t you know, taught for like a very split second uh, imperial system, but after that, it's like, nope, back to our usual. In Ireland, they teach Spanish. Let's see. Okay, so apparently, all non-English versions teach English, except Gaelic, which teaches Spanish, Serbian Spanish, Canada, whatever that is, Hindi, and Turkish is both English and Spanish. That'd be confusing. Do they have two different versions of the same show? Huh. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. Well, anyway, so yeah. basically, on the... <laughs> oh, yeah, the Spanish version. Hmm. Yeah, the, the Spanish version is one that I would obviously be going on about. Granted, I don't know if they do much else different there. Yeah, but when it comes down to it... uh. Yeah, the reason why we're doing this as a topic, the only real reason is just because of how stupid we think of a lot of these shows. It's just like, why would they exist and why do they do these stupid things? Because if you think about it, oh it's just like... Oh god, what? I forgot they made a live action. Oh yeah, they, they made a movie. I forgot Which, about that. <laughs> I'll be honest, I actually would not mind seeing just to make fun of it. <laughs> just for that very reason, I just want to see it to find jokes in it. Which, granted, I will admit, in the trailer, it actually had the whole thing. It's just like, Dora pulls out a knife, and the teacher's like, Oh, and would you look at that, everybody? Dora had brought a knife. <laughs> just like, okay. This is getting weird fast. I want to say mm -hmm. something, but it wouldn't sound good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's basically with, the, with it being the topic of Dora, you would think, Oh, hey, it's... Uh, it's like it's kids, a kid it's like a kids movie in this sense, but it seems like they're throwing in a bunch of like other stuff, which makes it more of a teenager <gasps> I movie. I can watch Dora on Amazon Prime. Good for you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So anyway, the thing we wanted to talk about mainly was some random stupid stuff. I forgot what you were gonna mention, but. Uh, I wanted to mention one of her random enemies that she has. Probably the main one, considering it's in, like, every single episode. So, that's a thing. Whoa. Oh, she has more enemies than uh, Swiper? I think that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I mean, basically with Swiper, yeah, there's something about that guy, which you probably don't notice, is the fact that yeah. <laughs> he... he... <laughs> He wants ev he basically wants everything that she has every single like random item that she gets on the journey or just like something she always wants it or like he always wants that from her and it's just like okay why is it a simple phrase stops him i don't know that's it, like it's just bothering like, me it's it so looks like he's just like much. an insane thief because i'm pretty sure they've had it where it's just like he will break down her boat or will do random other stuff that could put her into like quite a bit of danger in this sense. But it's just like, all she has to say is like, hey, swipe her, no swipe. And it's just like, uh, okay, I guess I am not able to do this anymore. <laughs> and no, he, she or has to his, say it uh, three times. Well, yeah, but still, it's like to say that. And then, of course, his catchphrase are just 
Yeah, just like, nope. <laughs> like, was like, yeah, oh, I'm man. giving up. Like, like the worst thief I have ever seen. Look, I don't understand. How is that a thing? That makes no damn sense. I mean, think about this. If kids think about, if they get stuck in that mentality as a kid from the kidhood, shadow, and then someone tries to rob them, and they're like, uh, no swiping. Like, no, that's not, no, no. He's gonna rob you anyways. Or you stare at your finger, an idiot. <laughs> 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 Maybe that works. Maybe no one has actually. Maybe it's actually working if you think about it. <laughs> because he, who who actually bothers to yell at this the guy who's robbing you and telling him three times that he shouldn't do it? Maybe just the fact of like having to tell anyone that just like oh hey this person like. Uh, breaks and enters in your house and just like start stealing things you catch them in the act and you just basically say you know hey stop stealing i said stop like, hey i told you stop stealing stop fucking stealing and just like oh uh sorry let, let me put all this back <laughs> just walks away <laughs> it's like leaves it's like okay i mean a shotgun also works but that's a different story well i'm pretty sure honestly no one's carrying a shotgun in their house and if they are yeah, well, in, in the United weird. States, wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> you're not wrong, but it's also pretty <laughs> stupid. <laughs> like that. Okay, we're, we're not going to get into the topic of having like guns in the household and everything, but I'll just quickly say that you don't need anything if you're going to have a uh, registered weapon. Just get a pistol. You don't need anything more. You really don't. If you're, you'd be like, oh, I need to protect myself, get a damn pistol. I don't yeah, see... Yeah, I think that's enough. I mean, you don't need anything else. I don't care about your stupid yeah. whatever it was, AK-15. What, what was it, the freaking... AR-15. AR-15. I don't know why I said K. Yeah, AR-15. And obviously all that kind of stuff. Just like, you, you don't need the damn shit. All right, it's one thing if you're, like, using it for hunting. And, I mean, you have your... I don't think you need rifle. a fucking assault rifle for that either. <laughs> Don't think you do either, unless you're hunting bears. <laughs> in which case, oh, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure doing that's illegal anyway. Yeah, but uh, that's the thing. Like, unless you're a hunter, you don't need a gun more than a pistol. I mean, yeah, you don't need you don't need a rifle unless you're hunting, and even so, you still need a hunting license. And most of the time, you're not really allowed to hunt things unless it's in season. I mean, yeah. Some things are like all season. I'm pretty sure deer is just like whenever if you're just like doing that. But uh, yeah, I think it's like, but it's because it's like one of those animals there's a lot of and they know like. Hmm. Funny how we have a rabbit season, but if you think about it, rabbits actually uh, reproduce a lot. So it's just like you don't really have to worry about them going extinct. Just saying. Unless you somehow uh, find a way to poison the whole fucking thing. Right. <laughs> Still. But, uh, yeah. So, back to the whole door thing. What, what was your your uh, thing you were going to talk about with it? Oh, maybe I have a map that's talking, that sings. Yeah, well, they all sing. It's kind of the thing. Yeah, but... Uh, can we just put those stupid shades? Like, just like, oh, where do I need to go? Like... Honestly, the thing I... The only thing I love when it comes down to it is that clip from Drake and Josh. It's just like, uh, Crazy Steve, like, yelling at the TV Adora, just saying shit. <laughs> Like that is a little favorite. It's just like, what are you talking about, Dora? It's right behind you. Just like, oh my god, <laughs> that's like the one example where you'll only find him ever doing that. No other kid will even care. I'm just watch it. Like, <laughs> this feels dumb. <laughs> yeah, like she has the map. The picture shows how it looks like. Yeah, it's just she like, has oh, a map. Where do I need to go? Yep, you have a map. You have a map. And then when it's just like you have all these random items, like you also have a backpack you can put it in. There's one other thing. Uh, 
Well, you have this random, uh, you have this random guy following you who always seems to, like, basically always tries to follow you to steal your stuff, and you can easily tell him to go away. Why don't you also ask the guy for some directions? I'm sure he would know. Be smart. And while you're at it, stop freaking traveling with a monkey. Jeez. What do you mean? Boots is so nice. Is he? Is he really? I mean... I don't know. Also, it's pretty bad that now my search history is at Door the Explorer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, it's a good thing no one really looks. <laughs> and because my VPN off, my ISP definitely saw that one just like, Okay, like I must be looking for some kids. <laughs> Like no, no, it's it's totally for that. Unless you're listening in to this uh, broadcast because you're like, oh hey, sending out uh, this video feed. It's like let let us listen in. <laughs> See what crap is doing. <laughs> we are bullying kids instead. <laughs> yeah, and just like listen, like okay. Just uh, pops up we... in chat, just like uh, yeah, we're definitely listening in, man. <laughs> it's like what the hell. I mean, Somebody's at their the desk, like, supposed to be uh, monitoring all different connections, just focus on this one to listen. Some random uh, internet provider user. How you doing? Imagine, yeah, if, that, imagine if that's how that happened. It was like, <clears throat> they decided to look at that, but go, hey, you know, streaming, like, throughout his thing, I'll just see what this is about. Ended up just sitting there for the whole night. That'd be kind of funny. Very doubtful. Yeah. Not not because it just wouldn't happen at work. It just wouldn't happen to me. No one would want to stick by with that. They watch for a few seconds to just be like, nah, whatever. Gone. Or they would be like, what the fuck is this? Both. Just, just both. <laughs> They're just like, what, they what the do. fuck is this? I'm going back to check on other stuff. Yeah. Completely missing that one guy sending some not so great TV uh, photos. That's probably every guy on the internet these days. What are you talking mm. about? I would never send bad photos anywhere. Cough, 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 cough. I mean, cough. None, of, none of that nature, but probably some pretty cancerous ones. That's that's not wrong. I mean, I'm pretty safe, okay? I'm a nice, innocent kitty cat. Mm-hmm. More like that uh, pretty old uh, hairless cat that sits in the corner and just like being very grouchy, hissing all the damn all the damn time. Like get the hell away from me. Hey, you know a cat is evil, so why do you expect a cat to be? So they are telling you always innocent because you know they are evil. Those cats are evil. Is my computer having issues, or is Skype having issues? Oh, boy. You're breaking again. I shouldn't be. No, I know. I mean, here, I, I just... I didn't need to, but I was able to preview. I didn't want to, because I actually like the idea of seeing everything, but... Well... See if that helps. It works now! <laughs> oh, don't Great. tell me what to preview them. <laughs> if that was the issue, that's so stupid. Because I don't see any issues. I'm looking. I have no drop like, frames. You worked fine My until CPU randomly. has been like at 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 this entire time. So very low CPU. Perfectly fine. I'm in the green. No issues. I swear, if I was like uh, having that robotic bit on stream, that would suck more. Well, you have it on my side, so that's an issue. Yeah. Yeah, it's on my side, your robotic part. Yeah, well, I'm saying I'm, if I'm that way on my side, is what I was saying. I doubt it, but you never know. So yeah, when it comes down to it, a lot of kids' shows, I just don't understand, especially these days. I mean, it's like, at least back in the day, they tried to teach you something. That was their goal, was to try to teach you something. Now it's like, what are you going to do? You know? I don't. I have watched a few kids shows that is now, I mean, and I'm I mean, like, yeah. Some days, these days, it's. I mean, most of the newer ones aren't too bad, 
But then you have some stupid shit like freaking uh, whatever it's called. Uh, Peppa Pig and all that other crap. Like, what the hell is this stupid show? Oh, yeah, Peppa Pig has been stupid as a start, to be honest. Well, yeah, it never was good. It's terrible. <sighs> Quite a piece of trash. I don't know. I mean, I've said this many times, many times. I don't know if I said it on stream, no, but I've said it many times. In you know, general, like, kids' shows these days is too nice. You might remember that. Like, everything is so friendly and nothing is bad. Like, when I grew up, mm. there was, like, kids' shows that was, like, really dark. Like, there was, like, they were not, like, always happy, but they were, like, we're not too bad, they were good. Yeah. I mean, like, Avatar The Last Airbender. It's not really a, a, a really happy story, mm. if you think about the whole thing. But it was more of a... But they made it so it was a kid-friendly show. But if the ground of it isn't kid-friendly. <laughs> Did we ever talk about that in the last episode? No, because we, we were going to do a review on your... Reaction channel, which yeah, we have not I mean, done either. I mean, we'll, we'll work on it. Don't worry. We are going to do it, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, we are going to do that. It's just for, the, for now, not the moment. Yeah, which is going up on his other channel. Yeah. Also, I'm not really sure how audio is stacking up right now. <laughs> not very sure. I? But it seems like whenever you talk, it's louder than me, but, well, what can you do? Um, turn me down. Oh, wait, you can't. I'm still loud. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I turn, I can put you down to freaking 0% and you're still audible. And it's like, how? How? There's nothing to be... <laughs> Hey, there's nothing there. Tell that to freaking audio in on my computer. Freaking thing is set to uh, zero. It's like, no, you're still getting something there, buddy. You know, I was trying to find my wireless earphones so I could, like, check the audio, but... Don't think that's gonna happen. Actually, I don't think it matters. Oh. I have freaking, uh... I actually have the computer audio shut off. Good job. So, well, that's actually a good thing to have. So honestly, I don't even think it's going to get picked up in the first place. I will have huh. to check that. I, I actually don't know. Let me quickly check. Oh, no, it's good. I need to... 160. There we go. Turn it down to like the worst video setting. What did you? Why did you do bad video setting? So it won't lag. <laughs> We're fine. The stream seems laggy. What is that? Me? It could be both. I I mean I had it open. I just closed it. So it's whatever. Uh, I was going to mention something else before I moved on. Don't remember. Something about kid shows. <laughs> well, yeah, I was mentioning that kid shows pretty much. Yep, yeah, terrible. I and mean, again, it's just like, it seems like, uh, <clears throat> I have my freaking throat at the moment. It basically seems like, uh, all the newer shows, like, I mean, again, usually these days, not too bad. But a few years ago, it's just like, what were they doing? They're just like putting out this random nonsense BS that's just like, why would you want a kid even watching these? They do nothing for you. But they do nothing yeah, for the kids. Also, remember, parents does not do anything for the kids either, so you know. Yeah, but I mean, they at least have something to go for. Well, come on now. <laughs> Yeah. 
And then people wonder why people these days are fucking social, uh, have social anxiety. But I wouldn't really say that's the issue. I mean, I mean, I would say it's the parents' fault because they don't teach the kids to be social and. What's hard? You don't really teach them. someone to be social. It's just the way you are. Like you don't really need to teach someone to be social. Yeah, but you have to teach. But you also have to understand that sometimes you can't. Or if you close someone off, they become kind of a loner. Okay, I yeah, but that's that's not my point. I'm not saying that's not teaching at all. That's just basically how how their environment is. If they're more in a closed environment to where it's just like, you know, they don't go out yeah, that often or whatever else, sure, that could make them more the loner. And then you have someone who's just like, they let them out all the dang time, they'll probably be a lot more social. Yeah, but that's the issue. It's like, but that's because... We barely fucking have schools. That's also daycares and stuff like that. I feel like that start is gonna disappear soon. Depends. The, I, mm. Because parents doesn't really. Because yes, parents gonna work and stuff, but they need to put their child anyway. But in the end, the child is is gonna be be like. But I want my iPad. Like, no, you don't need your goddamn iPad. You're free. I mean, I mean that's <laughs> that, that part's on parents in general. That's that's not that when it comes to like daycares and all that. I mean, granted, not a lot of kids will be like all over it. Yeah, some are, but you could still have them be like pretty active with everything else. I know plenty of kids who are just like you know still plenty active, but yeah, of course they have a little bit of tech issues. I mean, granted, I'm not setting the best of examples when it comes to considering a lot of the times I just hand my little sister a phone just to because she's just like wants to grab everything. That's the thing. She grabs everything to mess with. And like, I'd rather not grab everything off my desk. I just hand her my phone and she'll sit there for a few seconds or she'll like put it up to her ear and just randomly say whatever gibberish that a baby says. Yeah, but here's the thing. There's a difference. Like letting them play with stuff and then putting them in front of a screen all the time mm. that does such a diff because if you're gonna if you do that that's the issue is that kids these days has that parents does that they are like oh here have this and watch this like but should you watch the kid which is it's not even that i mean I'll, uh, like, like oh my god you're I'll lagging s- again this is all on you man this has nothing to do. I've turned off everything, so... Uh, I can tell I don't know about your play, but it's mine. They were all old, like, when we were just go outside. Like, they would just put that back inside to go for hours. Like, they weren't into that it's just like go outside go play do whatever like that air deal and then with us it's just like what your price is how many percent outside i there there what's going on why is my i don't even draw me to red so i don't know what's going on Stupid stuff in your end, I guess. Who would know? Yeah, but... Um... I was gonna say... The hell is... Alright. I don't know, what, what, what are you talking about? Well, I, I know I know what I was talking about. It's just the point that, yeah, thanks, cricket. But <laughs> see, I didn't even need to find a cricket sound effect. Maybe I should have one of those. But still, it's just like don't even need it because there, there we go. We have actual live crickets saying how bad we're doing right now. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I got a Discord message, okay? Yeah, see, that's how it works with almost everything. It's like, he gets a message of something. It's like, oh, wait, this takes my immediate priority. It's like, I have to check these messages. Like, yeah, I make it a priority to not. I mute everything. I turn off everything. I just throw it to the side. I don't care what the hell you're going to message me. If it's something extremely important, I'm not going to answer you doing this. The house is on fire. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to um, Well, that's finish. different. I can obviously tell if my house is on fire. It's only three rooms. Four, actually. It's my room, the bathroom, the entire living room and kitchen, because it's connected, and, you know, the other bedroom. That's it. So, yeah, I can definitely tell if the house is on fire. First, you go through smoke detectors right next to where fires would start. Except for in here. No smoke detectors in this room, but it would make it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a difference between you and me. I can multitask when I'm streaming. Well, that's not really multitask. That's being distracted. That's a distraction no. more than a multitask. It's not even more but so. But you normally talk, so I'm just listening. Yeah, that's but that's the other thing. When it comes to just like solely listening, that's not very good when it comes to a podcast because everyone in there yeah, needs to be talking. If I don't have anything to say, what should I say? Be... Should I, don't I know. Just, uh, just become doing... a cricket? Well, clearly that one outside <laughs> your window or wherever the hell wants you to be, because <laughs> it's not enjoying this. Pretty sure it's noticing your silence and it's just like, yep, just gonna make some noise. Damn. Great. Well, we can blame my friend of texting me. Why don't mm. we both know? Eh. I'll say that. Wait. Yeah, I'm sure who it is, but regardless, uh... And you know who it is? Possibly. I have ideas. Right. <laughs> I have ideas. <laughs> I did- that sounds more lewd than, than it meant to. How, how- How does that sound lewd? I was just saying I have ideas as to who it could be. Yeah, enlighten us, my dear sir. Yeah, I'm not gonna say their name on a random podcast. That's not exactly how that works. Uh, See, the thing about this... Say uh, the first letter. That doesn't help. We have many friends with the same first letter. And then I'd have to spell it out and it'd be immediately known. <laughs> Jeez. Do we have, I don't have that many friends with this letter, I think. We have two that I can think of right now. Nope, I don't have anyone in SMC that is uh, two with the same letter. Seriously. Remember, C. I don't use real name. I'm saying like, C. like two people with C in a way, if you were thinking of in a lot of ways. Oh. Yeah, because one doesn't use the actual first bit of their name. They always use the other part. So that'd be C. Yeah, um, we have two with C, one with A, because I don't refer to her as her username, because her old name was just Blame, so that was, she does yeah. have a Twitch channel. We'll get to that at other points. So yeah, what, what I was going to say though is that honestly, if you're here thinking like when it comes to like, oh hey, a podcast is like... This isn't your typical podcast. I, I should have mentioned that beforehand. It's not really a typical podcast. It's more so just two people streaming and just like saying random stuff. I mean, a lot of people don't even stream podcasts. I know it's a thing on Twitch, but it's like, I feel like people don't really stream as a podcast really that much. It's more so they just make a recording of it. Like they record it, edit it together in a good way, and then just be done with it. Send it out. That That is their podcast. Like, yeah. that's what most people do, most of the more professional ones, and it's not I'm not saying that is what changes us. Obviously, we're not professional, but that's not to say that that's why we don't do it. I mean, wouldn't this mean be closer to a talk show, then? I mean, not really. I mean, they're both. 
It's both the same. I mean, I guess that in this case, yeah, this would possibly be closer to a talk show. Just like because, talking. I mean, what is classified as a podcast? Is it that you? It's basically is just it a bunch of people talking. That's all a podcast yeah, is. Isn't that, isn't that what a talk show is too? <laughs> I don't know. Here, you know what? Well, let's get the official definition in on this. Let's go nuts. <laughs> all right. We have to have talk answer. Talk show versus podcast. That's not via. I said versus. Stupid thing. Talk show versus podcast. Live radio, but that's not the same thing. Not radio show. Oh my fucking god. I know the difference between radio and a podcast. I said a talk show. What is. Oh, well, uh, it depends on the radio well, let's show. Let's see. But... Huh. Well, I mean, with a radio show, it's more just people on the radio just talking. That's basically the difference between a podcast and a talk show. It's just talking on a radio. <laughs> That's it. So basically, uh, it's the same goddamn thing. Talk show format. Generally, subgenre or predominantly. Oh, that's not a thing. Not talking about it. I Today know. on hmm. on Nerd Thomas, we're trying to solve the issue with what is a talk show. Yeah, that's a lot of random deals. It's whatever. I mean, there's plenty of talk shows you can think of. You know, Jimmy. A Kimmel, talk show, chat show Conan. is a television program or radio program genre structured around the act of it. spontaneous conversation. I mean, technically, that's the same thing with podcast. That's that's, that's that's the thing. I feel like the only difference is a podcast <laughs> is just I don't know why I close that. A podcast is basically just you're talking like whatever. A digital audio file made available on the internet for download to a computer or mobile device, typically available as a series, new installment of which can be received by subscribers automatically. There's that, or just like the streaming wise, but that's basically it. So basically, what streaming, doing I mean, is like you know, it, you stream it from a podcast service like Apple or Spotify. Cast box like we use, a bunch of other stuff. Oh, the word comes from iPod and broadcast. That's yeah, it figures. I'm pretty sure because Apple was the first real one to do podcasts, like not necessarily, but I mean, like they were the first one to go for that. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, there's there was still plenty of it beforehand because we always had RSS feeds, but like, that's mainly what it was for. It's like you subscribe to the feed and you'll always get notified with a new episode and there you go. So what we're doing technically is more of a talk show because it's live. Well, no, I mean, you can still have live shows. You can still have the live ones. It just also, normally wait, these what, days. What does a video? What is a? Huh? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of a podcast? A podcast is a record of audio discussion on a specific topic. No, I mean we we failed that one. We I feel like specific we are topics. <laughs> well, we have all well, the I, mean, I mean, again, not everybody has specific topics. I'll admit I would actually like to start ones with it. Like just randomly. Or just like have certain things. Just I don't really know what topics we would do. Or I would do. Like either way, I just don't really have anything for that. Plenty of already taken and none of which I would be wanting to do. Like nothing that would be like, oh hey, this would be great to do. It's just like, nah, not really. <laughs> None for me. What were you talking about again? You I was basically know what we're re reading about, about podcast. How about you don't? This is what, what I'm saying. He's saying that, oh, he can multitask, like, and all that stuff. It's like, yeah, but I got no, you focused can't. on, like, sh searching how podcast. It doesn't matter. It's still a podcast. You don't need to go down it to specifics. I mean, anybody. This that, that's is why the thing. I prefer the god goddess Athena. Don't know what that has to do with anything. Wisdom. Okay, that still has nothing to do with this of what we're talking about. That's why I, I search stuff up. I want to learn stuff, just like uh, become wiser. I wouldn't really say that searching things up makes you wiser because I'm pretty sure you have. Very dumb search history <laughs> entries. <laughs> Possibly. Hey, we all do. Just because I want to know what different languages you learn in Dora doesn't make me stupid. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of stupid things. 
I could be one of them. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna. Lucky I use incognito mode, but let's see history. Uh, Dora video podcast, podcast meaning talk show, talk show, British Dora the Explorer, Discover Game, subscriptions, uh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, I don't search that like, much. See, hold on. Oh. Anywhere to just see it? Oh, is this how you do it? I want, I'm going yeah, to like oh. a website where I can like see all my history. Like see if I can just name all like my search history to see if I can just name off a bunch of crap. Well, mostly mine is Discord, YouTube, Twitch. No, my, oh yeah. I'm going you, mainly yeah, to the Google Twitch. searches rather than just my website history. If it would load. <laughs> Taking its time. Where do you find search history though? Oh my god, why? why? Clearly pushing Are the back button just like decided to close. It's crashing. That's the problem. My browser is crashing. Crashing. So it's life otherwise. It just did it again. I can't get past the screen. I'm just trying to look it up, for God's sakes. So it doesn't want my you to activity. look at your own... <laughs> view the search history, sure. How do I view it? My with your watch eyes? History? No, not YouTube. Saw... No, you don't... This is for YouTube. I don't want to look at my YouTube history. There's not much there. I rarely search anything on YouTube. Well, actually, let me check my YouTube search history. What is the latest stuff I've searched on YouTube? Uh, Spilling my gaming, Next 71 says, Spilling my gaming, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I'm not heading to the, you're not here. Actually, I'll head to that on a different browser. Maybe that'll help. As long as it has my account, it's fine. Do you want to know what my fifth search is on YouTube? What? Belle Delphine. Why? Oh you God. know, hmm. you know, having Belle Delphine in your search is I feel like something is wrong with me. Okay. Not today. Oh, well. I also have an R. I have searched R, apparently. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, apparently it's just showing a lot of other stuff. I'm not trying to see that. But I thought life otherwise. Honestly, it's not very. There's nothing uh, fun. There's like nothing fun on here. There's all like random. You just like show up a random thing. Yeah, the best thing I have is Belle Delphine. The most. What's I think I searched up her newest song she made. Make fun of oh, 69. The rap artist. Uh, Do you know? Like random? Like, can you not just do that? I have weird like, too random. No, I just wish it would just like pop up a random result, not just like last few days. The last few days I've actually gotten nothing. Mm -mm. Okay, good thing that's muted. Whatever. Uh, so other than search histories that uh, there's honestly nothing funny to bring up. Which ain't fun, but whatever. <clears throat> um, no, I mean, I would have more interest in search history if it wasn't that you go incognito mode. I don't ever, I don't really see the point. It does nothing. I mean, well, again, no one looks at my history. It's not like someone's gonna get on my computer or get on my phone. It's like, what is he yeah, doing? Yeah, but my mom may look at the search history in our, in our network. That's the issue. Well, even in incognito mode, it doesn't do that. It won't stay. It won't take away from your network. Like she can still see it through the network if you're in incognito. True. I mean, I mean that's kind of the point of a VPN to begin with. So, so next time I need to. 
Go visit the website in WPN on and go incognito mode. Then no sure. one can ever find me. Because then it's not in your history and then it's not being broadcast anywhere. But there's other ways to do it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they won't know how to do that. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's okay. Um yeah, I guess we'll move well, on, on to the another topic of YouTube, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so okay. We'll go on to a nice little segment there, I guess. A little segue. Not really. It's a terrible segue. But we'll go on to another bit of trashing. YouTube. Uh, Tough YouTube. You. Dear friend. Yeah, last time we talked about how they took away the entire old live stream deal, so if they're not using their new live studio, which figured out how to use and restream. You can't you I can use the same one I was using before. You have to use uh, something called YouTube events. And you just like schedule an event, tell Restream to use that event, and then you stream that way. I could go back to doing that, but I don't really know if I want to. Part of me does, because honestly a lot of people did watch through YouTube, but it's like, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. But other than that, uh <laughs> So recently, there was a whole YouTube issue with, uh, I don't know the video. It's like some, uh, setup. It was like a, whatever it was. It was basically like the video was, uh, completely fake, obviously. It wasn't anything real. It was just like people in like a SpongeBob costume and a bunch of other costumes and everything. Like, I think robbing people in vehicles or something. Like, it was just like a fake I... video. It was the something. I don't remember what it was about. I honestly don't know. Because I'd never seen it. But I just know that somebody, again, I don't know their name, but basically somebody got a copyright strike for it, and a bunch of other people did it too. Or not copyright strike, community guide blind strike. Copyright. Yeah, but CG strike. They got bad. plenty of CG strikes saying, like, oh, hey, you know, this is uh, pretty bad because it shows off violence and everything. And, uh, and then they try to get an appeal, and YouTube is just like, no, that's accurate. And they just didn't. It's like no, no, that's accurate. No, no issue here. And they still had their strike. And then of course uh, that that person points out that Markiplier uh, got had the same video. It's like hey, you know, he also reacted to the video. Why isn't he getting a strike? Even he himself replies like, yeah, where's my strike? A day later, <laughs> there's a strike. <laughs> he shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Regardless, uh, yeah, he got his strike for it. And then I'm pretty sure he did the same thing where he tried to appeal and they still said no, it was fine. And then they bring up, okay, why would you get strike for this? It's kind of stupid. And then they're like, oh, wait, we just struck Markiplier. Shit. <laughs> and just, nope, taking all this away. Like, um, YouTube and favoritism. That's how it goes. Because first yeah, it seemed like, oh, hey, it's they like. They've done mm. that for a long time. It's not like it's new, it's like they do that. Yeah, they do that for basically everyone. I mean, even Twitch does that. I mean, look at freaking uh, whatever her name is. Uh, what's her name? Starts with an A. That, that one streamer that uh, threw a cat. Uh, Alinity. Yeah, there's one, which I don't remember if they've actually done anything to her these days. Probably not. <clears throat> Um, yeah, and, and then you have other streamers that's so fun. Oh my god, it's such. It's, the issues with both. This is both Twitch and YouTube. It's like the moment it's a big streamer or YouTuber that makes the money, and this is PewDiePie. <laughs> PewDiePie is excluded from this. Right. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, oh, you did something wrong. I don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah. It's kind of messed up that the person who does have... Actually, I don't think anymore. I'm pretty sure uh, whatever they are, they got back up again. But pretty sure with someone who basically has... Well, we'll say, okay, fine, a YouTuber, because the other one's just a brand. But like a YouTuber that has the most subscribers on YouTube is just like, nah, we're going to hate on them. Pull the rug right underneath. Jesus. 
Yeah. It was the issue though. Uh, what was it? It was like, though that was the thing that when Twitch finally banned uh, disrespect. For n and no one knows. To, I don't know if they have revealed the why, but they finally banned him. I don't know him. if he did. I don't remember if he revealed anything. Because I mean, obviously yeah. now he streams on YouTube. Yeah, but that was like the feel that he was one of the biggest creators on Twitch. Like, I think I'll if he honest, wasn't the biggest, he was why. one of the biggest. So, and that's like, if Twitch can do Ooh. that, YouTube should do the same. Because, oh, you know... Oh, God. Uh, okay, yeah, go back up. It just went down to 74 kilobits per second. Like, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I can say that. Your stream is lagging. Ooh, it's, so it's, it's maybe your up. side that is having issues. I don't think it was, but it, it was raising back up. It's getting up there. Yeah. Close that. So, that's the thing. Like, YouTube should follow that example. Like, if, if Twitch could take out one of the biggest streamers on their site, mm -hmm. YouTube should have done the same. Like, with, with Logan, what was it, three years ago? I think. Yeah. Is it three or two years ago? I really should have recorded this episode. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, with that shit, people said he should be bad, but no. He just... Nothing happened to him. And that's, like, the issue. It's like, he earns them enough money for them to be like, oh, he didn't do anything wrong. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know... Gotta love YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> but the issue with Twitch though, the biggest streamers on there that earns money, that earns the most money, I would say, happens to be female streamers. Sadly. I mean, that really depends on them. Yeah, not all, but like... If they are beautiful and they are, they know how to play the game, they can earn how much they basically want if they play the game right. That's the issue. They and that is what Ali basically Alinity did. It's just played the game correct from start. Mm. Oh, and then I, she I, throws I a really, cap at... You know. I, mean, I wouldn't really say that... I should play the game correctly. There isn't really no, a that's... game to play anyway when it comes down to it. It's basically just whatever works oh, in no, the situation. They, if you know how to... D if you figure out the algorithm, you can defeat what many people do. For us it struggles. I promise you, if I would know how to figure out how to play, like follow the rules of how to get big fast, yeah, but I, I mean, honestly, know. that's the other thing. A lot of these rules are things that just, like, destroy what you are as a creator. Because most of the time, it just makes you even worse. Yeah, and that's what, what I... That's I'm what not I saying, like, worse as a person. I mean, like, worse as a creator, because that sense is, like, the real way to do it is to find the trendsetters. Find the things that people want you to play. Like, things that... For, say, for example, a lot of the streams I do, I barely get any views. I streamed Mario Maker 2, I got freaking a ton of views, like, more so than usual. I got like a hundred or so, like 120 in that night. Makes you think, well, hell, I should probably be playing this. I haven't streamed that game since. <laughs> it's not that I don't... It's That's not because... Be, it's not to, like, set mean. a trend. It's more so that I just never really felt the need to play it. But again, if I did, I would probably continuously get more views on the game and... At some random point, I it, I don't know. I would not want to become a Mario Maker 2 creator. Like someone who yeah. mainly plays and that's that. that's also a thing. I mean, if, if it was a very fun game that I would always enjoy and I could do very good at, then probably sure, I wouldn't mind it. But it's more so I'm a variety streamer. I don't try to stick to one game. I try to move. That's also... But that's also a thing about... That's a thing... Most platforms... That goes for YouTube also hates variety streamer or you creators because it's well, not it, 
in in the sense because if you switch too much, unless you're a big one that is having like said alone that knows what you're doing, and you have like I know a few YouTubers that is streaming and they have all of their follows, so they know what they're getting. Mm. But when it comes to like smaller variety streamers, they have tougher because they may get a viewer for say it, Super Mario Maker, but he may not come back for say Minecraft or whatever else you're playing mm. because he's more interested in that maybe that game. He's not interested uh, too much in the streamer, and that's what basically the rule rules comes in where you can can shift to become a good or a known streamer is to break or go into the rule part where you like figure out how to play the game that you need to be get big and that's an issue that destroys you as a person and a streamer well again not really much of it as a person the only real thing that does that is ego and plenty of people have that as an issue but when it comes to the creator i mean yeah Nah, I know what this is as passion. Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we will never play it. Another thing that destroy, and also something that destroys a lot of your friendships. Keep talking up and explodes. Don't play. <laughs> Especially when there's two idiots trying to solve the issue. Yeah, maybe it'll work if you if you and a friend are actually smart. Or not that smart. So how? Do, so you're the dumb one because I can play this game perfectly with my other friend. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm dumb. I'm just stubborn. There's a difference. <laughs> not not much one. It's a very thin line, but it's it's there. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, as for YouTube, the thing we're mainly trashing, got super off topic on that one somewhat. Mainly just I mean, yeah, YouTube kind of everything about big big streamers that often mm. get a more favorable. Um... I don't know. I mean, sure. Another thing when it comes down to it is that it would be nice to have that sort of thing, like having uh, quite a bit or being like a bigger uh, channel and everything. But at the same time, it's just like I'm kind of comfy with the idea of now. I mean, granted, I barely get literally anybody around. I mean, I would be happy if I just got like five ten viewers just like that amount to say there's some people there or if it's just like three people it's like just some people in there just to talk with that's the main thing i would want i don't need like a freaking wall of text in my chat <laughs> like i don't really need that. i have been getting a lot of views on my next next among streams mm. well again when you commit to something more more people are probably going to watch because like a main thing to go for yeah, and that's the thing. Normally, I'm a variety streamer, so I prefer to not get stuck on one game. But when it comes to a game, I find good. I mean, see, that, that's the, also the bane stuck. of being a variety streamer. It's just like, there's a lot of issues in that, too. I mean, look at me, for example. I, I'm i too, like, varied. Like, it's just like, I keep throwing random stuff in there, and I keep, like, stopping the other things. And some things just get put on the back burner for a while. The only major reason why a lot of the PS4 games, like Last of Us Part 2, the only reason why it hasn't been played anymore is mainly that I just don't want to be on the PS4. For a few reasons. One, I don't want to have to use my current capture card because I have to like set all these delays and everything up and it just gets really annoying. And then having to deal with... Uh, <laughs> before it wasn't an issue, but now seeing it is just like... All the issues in comparison, it's just like, I... No... Not a fan. And plus, my freaking version of Last of Us Part Two is broken. Everyone else is getting good stuff. Like everyone else doesn't have my issue, but I'm the one Aww, person in the world are, are you, who has are, the T posing you still issue. Posing? Yes. I literally, re <laughs> I started uh, another save so I could check out the game in HDR since I now have a monitor for it. And one thing looks great, but another thing, it's still doing the T posing at the exact same spots too. Like, every spot where it did it in my streamed playthrough, it did the same spots. You got the prototype disc. 
right? <laughs> Why didn't you get a disc and get a download? They just sent me the wrong one. And the game's been updated, so like I believe. And if it hasn't, then freaking update it for me. Come on, Naughty Dog. Help me out. The, I would say the issue is because I'm using an original PS4, but I've seen playthroughs and so people... I? Yeah, that's the thing. I've seen playthroughs and other people just using the original. It's like, no issues. It's like, okay, that's not my Did issue. You watch, yeah, so if, if you have watched anything from mine, you can see I'm not having issues. You just keep, I mean, it's not that it's bad. Like, it's not like game breaking. It, it can, it's honestly funny, but it's, it's just it takes out an immersion. <laughs> It takes out of the immersion of the game and the story. It's just like you just have this like super serious scene again. <sighs> I mentioned this. This is a spoiler. Actually, not not really gonna be a spoiler, but we'll just say of like uh, with Joel being on the ground in one scene, and uh, it's just like it'd be funny as hell if he was just like standing up the next second. It's like yeah. okay, <laughs> I would just laugh my ass off if that happened. <laughs> I was like, okay, nope, I have seen it all. <laughs> Done. You're like, nope, I'm no, I'm not paying him for the dead is rising. <laughs> I know the game's already about infected and in a way of being zomb zombified, but technically they're not zombies. They're just infected. There is a difference. But, yeah. Uh... Okay, random thing to note, I don't know why it says I'm sending 4.3 megabits. I mean, I guess it's other I stuff, but it wouldn't make much sense when I set it to 4. 4 megabits. I don't need the points. Make it slower. Jeez. I don't know. Need the freaking new internet so I can just get past this. This issue. Uh. Hmm. But yeah, when it comes down to that, I mean, I would get back to it, but again, it's just all those random issues, and uh, there's other games that I'm definitely wanting to get back to, and I'm wanting to try to get to a single game type of deal. Like, I don't want to constantly do that, but I want to try to focus more on things. Just like try to get to I a mean, focused game. You already game. have like hours here, but we have like a I mean, there, of time. Yeah, and... I mean, those work, uh, but then uh, I have like my actual solo stuff or just me and it's like I don't really do a lot of stuff by myself and I honestly need to do more of just me because it's like it just needs to be that way. <laughs> hmm. I mean we do a lot of Ocarina because we both enjoy the game and so then mm -hmm. we have ha Halo. We should have Dest or well technically we're done with Destiny. We do need yeah, to do yeah, all we're... the strikes if we want to but we can get to that, yeah. And we need to do that bit. Uh, and it's only two months dungeons. left until um, the begin beginning of a new era. Era. Mm -hmm. Era and era are both accurate uh, pronunciation. It's the other one. Ah! What, what? the fuck? Did it... What happened? I don't know. It felt like something was something sharp was at my feet. Hmm. I was just nerves. Yeah. Um. No, I mean, just like a bunch of stuff I wanted to try to focus on. Like, I do want to try to get uh, to play more control because I'm barely even into it and I'm sure there's plenty more to get through. I mean, hell, the freaking new DLC is supposed to be about uh, Alan Wake or the one before it, one of the two, but it's like, I definitely would like to go for that because like I love the Alan Wake game I would say games but the second one was meh but, yeah so I'd love to like see how that goes down and then I have other games to play I mean I just went back to playing a little bit more of uh, Fallen Order last night played oh. some more and I don't know how, why I stopped before. I don't know if it's because I got something different or what. I don't actually know what stopped me. No, I think it was that. I, I think it was first I was game stuck. Coming out. I think so. I mean, I, I think it was like I was getting stuck on something. But then when I went back last night, I was playing around. I'm like, there's nothing wrong. I'm perfectly in the right area I'm supposed to be. I was in the part where I was supposed to go into the uh, Star Destroyer to face the second sister. Like I had the little boss fight with her. 
like at that but point. Really, that bump was a little nah. bit irritating. No, I mean me not really. I mean I'm getting the hang of like dodging oh. and uh and everything and uh, parrying. Yeah, I did. I didn't have issues with that fight, but I think it was a little bit irritating because it was like early game and you still try to learn the controls. I mean, I, it was fine for me, probably because of the huge break I took. But I mean, it was fine I also because played it, boss, though, remember that. True, but at the same time, it's always just having. Uh, I have plenty of stuff unlocked already. I have almost everything in the whatever uh, moves category. In the skill tree. I have almost everything unlocked. The main thing I need to get now is the lightsaber throws. I don't think so. Because I think it, there's like three phases. Like, dude's gonna. Well, I'm saying like uh, all the way at the first bit. I'm saying like that little first bit. Like, I, I got think there's, basically is there it the three top. phases I think it's gonna expand. I don't know. I don't know. Either. I remember it's like. All I know is I'm up to lightsaber throws. I haven't got to unlock that yet because it's like three. But. Yeah, I definitely want to get back into that. I mean, I was honestly contemplating, like, in a way, I really just want to try to play this on PC because it's like it would run much better and I wouldn't have the issues I do with the Xbox version because I know the issues I'm having on there is because I'm running the original Xbox. They expect you to at least have an S or the X at this point. It's like I have the original and it does not run great. <laughs> it's got a lot of issues. A lot of audio popping issues and everything else is just god awful. But I play through it. So part of me is considering just grabbing it on PC, but at the same time, it's like I have to beat all the way back to where I'm at and then go to, uh, I don't know, and actually have to buy the thing. Granted, on, uh, it's actually on EA, on EA Play or Play Premium, whatever. Don't EA want it to. Play. I think it's called EA Play Now. Yeah, Play Now. But <clears throat> it's on Play or Play Now. I don't know which, but I could basically get that and do it. But it's like, that'd be like the only game I'd play on it. Like every other game is not really that interesting because I already have it. I have all the battlefields mainly. I'm missing a couple of them, but I have almost all of them. I have Battlefront 2, both of them. <laughs> and I have the first uh, classic. It's like, I don't really need to play or play now be kind of a waste of money it's just be like for two or three games so yeah. no point in that but that phone on a PC wouldn't be too bad but I'm fine with Xbox I guess I just thought about <laughs> something just because I was thinking because I'm so fucking I w I'm gonna play Battlefront 2 again you know our classic yeah. series Indeed. I was like we, we need to do that with the uh, old republic mm, i don't think it'd be that fun though i mean that, that one's more of a uh like it's closer to not an mmo but it's like obviously closer to like the rpg type of setting and it's like it yeah, wouldn't really still, fit that would be so fucking hard that's even harder that game than uh Battle i wouldn't really think i mean maybe but i feel like it'd be more like tuned like it just like it wouldn't really be all that hard at least I don't I feel don't like know. I would. I agree to Knights of the Old Republic. Because... Old Republic is the MMO. Which I barely played through, but which is not that bad. Again, it's literally just World of Warcraft, and but it's Star Wars. So far, that's not what, it, what all it is. It has cutscenes. It, like is actual the Old Republic and the MMO are pretty still out? Yeah. Huh. Where yeah, did you it... get that game? Steam. What did this? Ah. Huh. That's Steam or their website. Because what was funny is that for a while there, they were like, oh, hey, you know, you have this, and I'll mention it again. I've mentioned it on a previous episode, I'm pretty sure. But I bought it at a, uh, like this bargain place. And I looked, I think it was actually 25 cents that I bought it for. No, no, not 25 cents, $2. Somewhere around there. For the. For the old the MMO, the old Republic MMO, like the physical version, like with the disc and everything. Like I bought it there, and I was like, okay, cool. And you know, I was, I, I didn't notice it was the MMO when I bought it. And then after later, I looked. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I was like, I was wondering why this is so cheap. <laughs> like I didn't notice. Like, hey, knights, moron, knights of the older Republic, not older Republic. 
and then I look it up. It's like, oh, hey, this has been shut down for a while. I'm like, so I just bought a game for no reason. Great. Did they start it up ever again or no? I mean, they did start it up, yeah, because it's on Steam now. Huh. It's perfectly there. It's a lot of space, though. It's like 50 gigs, I think. That's big. And it's quite I mean, big. That was like, that's so interesting because it's like, uh, old, the old, what's the old Republic and MO, I think that wasn't so big. That was the issue. Hmm. Was that it wasn't that big of a game. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty good of a game, though. I mean, again, I mean, it does have all that kind of stuff and even has like the dialogue tree. Like, it has a dialogue tree for quite a bit, too. Like, the older, like, Knights of the Old Republic and everything. I mean, it looks great. I, I never could play the first one. I don't I know why. I played a little bit of it, but I just stopped it. Stupid. Just didn't want to. It's not that it's a bad to... game. It's just like not really the type of game I'd play. I like Knights of the Old Republic. At least the second one. I mean, again, I figured the story would be great, and I would definitely want to see it. But other than that, meh. No, yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of hate when I get like a drink. I drink it kind of quickly, and now I, almost every time I talk, <laughs> you can probably tell my throat is just nope. <clears throat> I've also finished my uh, drink. Apparently, I've just been like super thirsty like, all the time. Need to like get some more hydrating crap. Bring buy more power aids or something. Power aid is good. It is. I mean, it's better for you if you're like actually doing active stuff. You're sitting in a chair for God knows how long. Us three out three to four hours per stream. Well, when we're in the same stream, you you can go for much longer. Yeah, if I stream, I probably would have streamed like uh, while well, I was about to finish next month anyways, but I crashed at the end. Mm, that sucks. I don't know why. It was like, oh, this, this, like, and now I'm waiting for an update on next month that I don't know when it's coming because you know they're waiting for, to get approved. I think I should check to see if I got approved for it, but I'm very sure I haven't. I haven't seen any emails. Pretty sure they just said no to me. <laughs> Likely. I'm almost, Honestly, I don't care. I, I, I'm almost willing to. To gift you the game? Yeah, Almost. but at the same time, it's not really uh I'm not really sure if it's a game I'd play. I mean, you would have to for at least once if I buy it for you. Mm. Oh, no, yeah. Request rejected. <laughs> yeah, I checked. Wow. They rejected you got me. rejected by P-Cube, and I got two games from P-Cube. Hmm. It's more just because they don't see me doing many games, which, granted... That's not really me that... Well, okay, it is me. It's not the fact that I'm not record, recording them. I'm not editing them. It's because I've been wanting to do nearly everything I can on my days off. If I had just, like, all the time in the world, I would probably edit way more now. Now, because I'm more interested in trying to get that yeah, out there. Yeah, I need to do Magic of, of, <clears throat> of Mist or whatever it was called. It's another reason why I didn't really record a lot of back in the day or edit is because I had a very trash computer. But now I can play nearly every game and my editing is perfectly fine. Like it. The issue is that you still don't like editing because. Well, I don't like editing don't myself. Like listening. I don't like listening and doing all this other stuff myself. Ah, I'm in the red again. Hey, you're having issues today. I am. And it, oh yeah, Mask of Mist. I think that looks like a game you would enjoy. Yeah. This might be the last episode on audio. Probably not. I mean, I feel like what's going to happen is it's just going to have a very blurry video. That or you're going to have to use my audio and that's going to be terrible. Granted, what I could do is just like get the uh, edit. I just, you know, download it and then all the parts where we cut out or anything, I could just insert stuff from your side, which wouldn't be great, but it's there. Yeah. I just do what I can. Oh, I need to do more Dungeons 3, by the way. I need to do more of everything. 
I I looked also, recently. Also, how about this getting the same game on both PlayStation and Xbox? Yeah, that happens almost all the time. I had that happen with a few games. Usually, yeah, I just I pick the one Dynasty I prefer. Free. It yeah, was I... the issue though. I had to buy Dungeons Free on the PlayStation because by some reason I didn't get the game itself. I got all the mm -hmm. DLCs. That's something. I, know, I just usually when that happens, I just like pick the one I prefer and then just to uh, reject the other one. I took both because I if I got I tested it on Xbox, I was like, I love this game. But the, the issue only was other way when it could I got be game, is if like if you're doing like a review or something and you want to be very specific, be like how does it run on here? How does it run on here? Any differences or whatever. Mm. Well, at the time, the what, reason, one reason I could not say both was because when I streamed it on Xbox, <gasps> there was another platform that was uh, existing. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Granted, Twitch is uh, perfectly fine on there now. I did yeah. check. It runs actually pretty well now. Like that's some. Um, okay, they had an update today. On Wednesday, hopefully. Yeah. We can Halo. hopefully stream some more Halo. Get into ODST when it's about to release on PC. Still hasn't yet, so hey, technically you're still under the mark that Man Evil predicted. Yeah, well, I got the controller before it was released, and when we were playing it, that's a different story. Well, I don't think it's going to release before Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, and again, I want to try to record it as we're playing it, because... I feel like the only reason why the whole encoding thing like broke on previous streams was because I was using the Streamlabs OBS and it just crashed it. I haven't had that at all on here. I've had it go into red, but I've never had it crash and freeze. So I'm pretty sure that was the issue. So basically, yeah. if we do have uh, streaming issues while we play that, I'll still have the recording. I just forgot to record this one because I didn't think about it. I was like, eh, it's just a podcast. And then I was thinking of my... Then as I, it went red the first time, I'm like, I probably oh, should have. <laughs> probably should have now that I'm thinking about it because I'm like, I could have just grabbed the audio from it. It does not take long to export audio. I just had the video. I cut out the video and I say export as WAV or whatever, WAV format. And just like export it pretty quick. <laughs> But no, no. <laughs> You're stupid. Oh well. It is what it is. I'll probably have to edit it anyway if it does cut out anything in the next port. But, uh. Yeah, so. I don't know. Just plenty of stuff that I'm needing to do. No, uh, two I have games like recorded one, right now. I, I have three games I need to do. Two of which I don't really want to do. Yeah. So, I mean, I have two games recorded right now. I have uh, sk my thing with Skater XL, which is going to be a... F there are going to be more videos in that for me. It's just I'm waiting till they get more updates. But uh, you have that. And then um, I recorded a game called Matter, which perfectly fine as a video because it was only like an hour long. Like the full game. Granted, I got stuck on the last level because it was so stupid. <laughs> the like main thing is like you... Uh, it's like a mechanic where if you're inside this like bubble, you can uh, move yourself super quick through the bubble. Like pushing a button will just like propel you forward. And I was following this line that uh, told me where to go. And you had to get like pixel perfect on the end point because there's like a little orb at the end they had to land on. I missed it every single damn time I tried to hit. <laughs> every time I would just go straight through, it's like, nope, nope. One time I hit it and I bounced off. It's like, okay, well. It took forever. So. Yeah. Yeah. We got that. And. Um. Uh, probably more in the future. No. Speaking of like random videos and edit and stuff like. Just one thing I want to mention is like. I'm wanting to upgrade a lot of equipment stuff. I mean recently I got the stream deck. As I mentioned the past few times. But I have that. And. Honestly, since I've been adding more and more keys to it, it's like, God, this is very useful. It was a very good purchase. But there's other things I really should upgrade. <laughs> For starters, 
this mic may not sound all too bad, but it's equalized. I mean, I have an EQ on it. If you want to know what that sounds like without an EQ, uh, you won't be able to hear this because you already hear me without the EQ. Uh, give me just a second. I'll just turn it off and back on. Yeah, there you go. There's me without the EQ. And with the EQ, I don't know if that really changed too much because I'm also using a suppression program, but regardless. Yeah, anyway, I have to freaking use an EQ to make it sound good. And there's a few mics I'm wanting to get to like replace. They're a little expensive though. Not too expensive, but a little bit. You have one that's $70. That's a hybrid. You can plug straight into the computer, USB, or into like a uh, interface with the XLR stuff. But basically you do that. Or one that's 100 That's just XLR. Or I buy the Elgato Wave 3 that's like 160 Very expensive, but it has a lot of features. I mean, it's bad enough that when the other day when I mentioned like in SOC and everything, hey, it's back in stock. It's out of stock again. <laughs> it didn't take long. I'm sure they only had like a few left. So that's great. Ah. <sighs> You know, that is how everything goes these days. It's just like, hey, we have all this, and now we don't. And a lot of people, obviously, these days are just buying stuff to gouge it. Just resell it and gouge out the price. God, I hate. I have seen, like... But it's a valid strategy. That's the issue. It is, but at the same time, it's like, it's even worse. Like, I've seen a lot of Elgato products, like, being raised to, like, $300 or... It's other stuff by 300 when it's like 150 or uh, less than that. It's like you charging way too much to the point that no one's going to buy it for that much. You're just being an idiot. Like do it a little bit over it and then you still get profit. Like I guess say yeah. if someone's 150, do 170. 200. 170 to 200, somewhere around there. If, there's, if it's not available anywhere else, people will probably go for it. I'll admit, I probably bought some that was priced by computer. For example, the parts in it. Likely some things in there are price gouged. Like, too high than what they're normally. But, I bought them. Well, I gotta say this, I bought three, five books for a good price. Hmm. I mean, these days, when it comes to, like, audio stuff, I or video or anything like that, I go to this website called uh, Sweetwater. It's like a gear type of website, but... Pretty much everything there is on price. It's not gouged. So it's like all the right price. It's basically I'm good there. Still. Amazon would be probably better considering it's like, oh hey, you get that in like two days if you got Prime. Two to three. So that would be better, but eh, you know. Would you rather spend more to get it early or spend less to get it like a week later? That is the the issue. Yeah, I mean, I, and I gotta tell you, did you remember when I told you about my books that took like a week to get? Mm -hmm. I got my controller like from from the day they they dispatched it. It took took it two days. Yeah, it's quite rough. And that was coming from Portugal. My I'm books sure. were coming from the United Kingdom. I'm pretty sure it's just because everybody thought, eh, it's just books. This person can wait. Oh, it's a controller. Well, they don't have a controller. They can't play their games. That's a lot of waste of money. Let's get this quick. Priorities, dude. Yeah. These drivers and uh, pilots know what they're doing. But it's so weird. Like, I could... Still, it's said, but... Also, was awake then and again, still. Then again, you do. I mean, obviously, you have Amazon Prime, right? So. Yeah, but it doesn't work apparently on the United Kingdom servers. Well, it's either that or it's uh, well, probably that too. But in another way, it's also probably uh, whatever it is, could just be the item itself wasn't a uh, Prime item. So like you know, just I think it was. well. If it wasn't, then you know, there would be the issue, because I've had stuff like that. It's like, oh, hey, I buy it, and it's like, oh, it's not actually supported by Prime. 
My freaking power supply I, I almost bought would have came like a week or two later. Actually, no, I think it was like two weeks later that I was getting every other part. And I'm like, yeah, I got to cancel this purchase and go get another one. So I did. Like, I am not waking, waiting two weeks to install this computer. I am going to get it as soon as every other part arrives. I just had to wait an extra day. And all was well. And then they came out with other computer parts recently. Ain't that some shit. <laughs> I mean, I knew they were going to come out recently. I mean, for everyone knowing, here's the tech part of being a nerd. Of the nerd ensemble. So <sighs> welcome to that bed. But when it comes down to it, it's like I bought the RTX 2070. They recently came out with the 3000 series. So obviously 3070, 3080, I think 3080 Ti, but regardless. Yeah, because 3010 doesn't need to exist. Well, no, that's way too low. It's gonna be seven and up, bro. <laughs> Screw that 60. No one uses 60s anymore. We had the 2060, but they got rid of it. No more 30s. <laughs> or maybe they have it. I don't know. But with the 3070, apparently it's much more performance than a 2080 Ti, and is uh, from what I heard, like 60% better than 2070. So it's like for the same price of a 2070 much better and for way lower than a 2080 ti much better so it's like what are you doing nvidia you're kind of screwing your other product i guess that's the purpose but damn i mean they want you to buy the better item i mean granted and... what i could do is just get my gpu sell it like resell it and it'll be a little bit less so instead of like 500 i get like four or three maybe somewhere around there but like resell it it's only a I buy like it for a one month box. or two, but no. I mean, just have to resell it, and then it's just like, oh hey, that's there's that I can get the new one. But at the same time, it's like I don't really think I need to. I mean, sure, it'd be better to get more performance, but it's like, eh, it'd be okay. I can still run everything past sixty frames, so I'm fine. I'm fine with with what I got. And soon enough, freaking Ryzen is going to release their 4000 series, and it's just like, eh, my CPU is about to be even more outdated. <laughs> so I'm doing and great. I just bought... What? I said, so I'm doing great. Eh, yeah, that's why you should play tennis. No. No one wants to yeah. play tennis. Say that to, to Federer. Who? One of the greatest tennis stars ever. Yeah, I wouldn't know. History. I don't want. I don't watch or do anything involved with tennis. So Nor why do, do I, I care about anybody in there? I don't care about tennis. I don't care about soccer. I don't care about freak or rugby, whichever one you want. Or not rugby. Freaking soccer or football. Rugby would be American football. Which I don't care much no, for either. No, rugby is a different sport. That's so weird. It's like close. Rugby is. Yeah. It's, it's like their and version yes. is what I'm saying. It's like it's their version to be like, oh, hey, we're playing off of American football, but it's different. No, I think actually rugby came, came first. Eh, whatever. Regardless, American football. <laughs> you sound this so American now. Like, yeah, they're stealing our idea. Like, no, I didn't no, say they were stealing an idea. I was saying that it's more of at this rate, it's like I that. Think, then we have Australian football. That's like this Whatever the show is basically it's like no no protection. Mm. I don't know. I mean it's it's I don't really care for sports in a, in general. Pretty much ninety nine percent of them are just god awful and I could care less for. But but tennis. No one cares about tennis. Well Nadal does. Again, I don't know who that is. Again. A tennis player. <laughs> Congrats for them. I don't care. We got that. Honestly, the only one I would even want to watch, which is random, but I actually be fine watching baseball because it's fine. It's something just to watch. Baseball, anything is probably <clears throat> boring. That's probably more boring than, it's more than tennis. It's more than golf. No, uh, I mean, golf is golf. I mean, then again, we have people, which I'm pretty sure you're one of them, 
being like, oh, hey, golf is not a sport. Technically, it's still a sport. Technically, golf is still a sport. It's just different. Freaking people it's, being it's like, oh, with pain. golf, it needs to be, uh, it needs to be a fast paced and all this other shit. Like, that's not what a sport means. It's just competitive. That's all a sport is, is to be competitive and to be, have like an official deal around it. And golf is. It is a sport. It is competitive. You don't really need to be athletic to be in sports or to be a sport. Granted, if you're going to be yeah. walking for 10 hours a day, maybe you do need to be a little bit athletic. <laughs> so, who knows? Oh my god. I wonder how much tra still how much training goes into like doing um, feel about those marathon sprinters like God damn, like, they don't run a little bit. Are you talking about marathons and stuff? Like, I mean, that that's plenty. It's a lot of cardio. Yeah, that's... My God, that's one of the fucking sports that will be like, yeah, I don't... I, I can't... That no, I can't no, like, that's the other thing. Sprinting. A marathon and a sprint. I mean, obviously, it's different. I mean, of course, but sprinting, yeah, that's, but... that's... Oh, God, no. Marathon is, like, again... You don't have to go super fast. You don't need to. The idea, obviously, of a marathon is just go at a good pace. Because if you go at a good yeah, enough pace and you have other people running off... about your energy, basically. Yeah, because obviously... Don't use it up too early, because then you know, you're gonna... Yeah, then those people are gonna get tired near the end or in the middle, and then you just, like, get passed up or, you know, again, someone else is doing yeah. it, you pass them up. That's why if you if anyone ever watch cycle, uh, like Tour de France, you can see how they work there because it's like you lay behind someone so you don't to use the draft. And, and another because thing you, I don't. You, you don't know what draft is. No, I know what draft is. I don't care. I'm saying another thing. I don't or even would even want to watch or I know of about. Watching uh, that is kind of interesting, but it's like, how can you? Again, we're two different God people. Them. Yeah, but I and also one love of us sport. Does not care, because I think it's boring as absolute shit. It's a pile of I dog mean, crap, just sitting there on the ground, fresh, and you just stepped in it. <laughs> it's that bad. I don't care for pretty much most sports or even any. It's just a couple that are mildly interesting. I feel, Mild. I feel like the idea is in reality, but then I don't give a fuck about it in general. Like again, nerd ensemble, nerd yeah. sport. It you could still be a nerd at a sport, but it's like, eh. We, well, yeah, say that fights. the jocks in schools because apparently. Well, oh, okay. If you think school... about that, jocks are also nerds. That's the problem. Yeah. They make fun of people for being nerds when, in honesty, they go home and play video games all day. Like, or if, they're, they not, if like, they're not doing their training not, or, or whatever and, for yeah, the sport. And knowing about your sport, that's also a nerdy thing to do because you need to know stuff about what you're doing and nerd about that game or whatever you're doing to be good at it. Like, if you do a sport, you are technically a nerd also. But in a different kind of nerd. Well, that's why they're called jocks. Because <laughs> they have their own phrase. Because they were so insecure to be called a uh, nerd at sports. They just, uh, uh, we have to start calling ourselves something else. What, what do we think? Jock? Sure, let's go for it. Like, what, what is that and strap what? you put on to uh, protect the goods? Uh, jock strap? Yeah, okay, jocks. We're jocks. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't even know where that came, <laughs> why that was a thing. <laughs> We'll get into that topic. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, terrible segue, <laughs> but I honestly got really nothing else to talk about. Move on to what I literally titled the stream of that we haven't even gotten to yet. But honestly, I don't really care how a title goes. It doesn't have to fit every topic. It's have to fit tiny topics so you know what's going to go in there. That's kind of the point of it. Like you can have the title of your stream just or the title of like the podcast episode be about one topic out of like a that lasts like 30 minutes when every other topic lasts like an hour or two. So, yeah, 
topic of uh, this thing, the main one, I guess. Uh. Not necessarily the main one was being a content creator and all this other stuff, but yeah. Uh, Nintendo. The thing, mostly. So, since I'm the only real one who uh, did much of anything with this, because you just like saw us the main thing that was coming out. So there was that. So you know just the tiniest bit of things. But uh, so yeah, Nintendo and their uh, recent direct of the Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers uh, 35th anniversary. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to clear my throat because <laughs> I know I'll be talking for like the longest time. Okay. So honestly, I mean, this one was like pretty short as most of them are these days. That's the thing about Nintendo. They don't really do long stuff. They, they don't really Unless do it's a major direct. Like, I mean, if it's like a major direct, like for E3 or like during E3 time or Game Awards or whatever else. Speaking of, I need to freaking watch. Uh, I think it was Game Awards, the one that was recently. Like everything's like a ton of trailers for it that came out, like a shit ton of game trailers. I need to get into that. Oh yeah, maybe I don't know. I, don't, I have not watched game. Yeah, there's award. like a ton of them that just came out recently. And oh, you're like, red. Announcements. Yes. But I know just that you're like rain is lagging. It's what it is. But anyway, um, and so... you're robotic now. Great. What is? Hold on a minute. Oh God, you're having issues like. A lot. Hmm. Okay, let's raise it back up. For a second there. Oh, no, it's not. Can you get any higher? So about that recording. <laughs> uh, I would record now, but. I guess I could record now, just to have this final bit in, but what would be the point? Mm. It's getting also up there. it would be easier for you in the future to do, like, um, if, it, or you, you remember what I told you about, like, last, was it last time when I told you that I could remake my shot, my old shot, while I could make a channel for clips? That would be good also because if you record it, because then I could use your recording, which is way easier than me downloading stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're oh. having issues right now. Oh, you don't say. I'll show you I'm my issues. I'm just watching the stream. I think, you, did your music die too? Ah, uh, it's still there. Let's show you a graph. I just sent it in Skype, but a, a graph of how bad this is getting. Uh, yeah, the, the up, uh, they just... Uh, are you sure you're not on the stock market? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking terrible. I don't know. I feel like we may just have to end this... Uh, not really end it, but just like stop stream-wise and just like go for a recording or something because this is getting really bad. So live, you're probably I not going to get the rest of this conversation. Me? Well, yeah, me, well, fine, but... So basically, we could do that, just redirect everyone to you, and then... <laughs> yeah, and don't then the die down. Like... Well, my stream's already dying, what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, but I can't continue this goddamn podcast if you're dying. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just transfer it over. So, live-wise, I don't think anybody else is here, but, uh, give me a second. If you are, uh... if there is anybody here, I want to say that you need to go straight to Swede's channel. I would do a raid, but I have no one here, so there's no point for raids. Hey, just host me. Just, is it? Slash house or something. Should be. I'll get to that in a minute. 
See, I'm back in the green, but I want to go ahead and switch off just in case this keeps happening. Yeah, also, but, start with your recording about now. Yeah, so... So, okay, uh... We're definitely gonna switch over to... Just this. Oh, I just realized, hold on a minute. It's still there? Yeah, oh... No, yeah, okay, it's still there. Good. Make sure it was still on the like the track system was still fine on recording okay so stream wise i'm gonna have to end my own stream so that's yeah. gonna be that i'm gonna have to download this later and edit it properly to make sure everything's okay because the streaming thing is getting way too rough i don't know what the hell's going on it happens all the damn time and it pisses me off but yeah so hopefully it's getting fixed when you get your upgrade oh i'm sure it will because i should have like 25 up so yes all right, so I want to go ahead and stop stream wise. The uh, recording will still stay the same, and yeah, anybody uh, audio wise, you will not hear a difference uh, between this point and then. Maybe I hope, but we'll see. So okay, uh, we're definitely gonna switch over to just this. Oh, I just realized. Hold on a minute. It's still there. Yeah, oh. No, yeah, okay, so there. Good. Make sure it was still on the, like, the track system was still fine on recording. Okay, so stream wise, I'm gonna have to end my own stream. So that's yeah. gonna be that. I'm gonna have to download this later and edit it properly to make sure everything's okay. Because the streaming thing is getting way too rough. I don't know what the hell's going on. It happens all the damn time and it pisses me off. But yeah, so. Hopefully it's getting fixed when you get your upgrade. Oh, I'm sure it will, because I should have, like, 25 up. So, yes. Alright, so I want to go ahead and stop stream-wise. The uh, recording will still stay the same. And, yeah. Anybody uh, audio-wise, you will not hear a difference uh, between this point and then. Maybe, I hope. But, we'll see. Yeah. Stream-wise, I just stopped. So, it's recording now for me. Yeah. Uh, I really should have been recording the whole time, but... Uh. Well, we couldn't have expected it. We were thinking it was going to go good, but hey. Nah, I, I thought at least it wouldn't be all that bad, but... It's bad. It's okay. Yeah. So I think it's been your issue the whole time since you started laying in the beginning. Maybe. Anyway, so... We'll go and continue the topic for those on your side and for this recording, hopefully. This may be one of the times when I don't have this episode on my channel, if it goes too bad. I'll just have to like, yeah. have a redirect for you. Or I'll have well, to download your side and just put it on my site. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to see. Anyway, so let's go and continue with the topic at hand with uh, the Mario Bros. 3 35th anniversary. Pretty much everyone knew that they were going to do something and everything like everybody knew that something was going to come out of this more so they knew about like the ports and everything they just didn't know how it was going to be handled but we'll go in order of basically everything that happened the first thing they announced is a game and watch super mario bros version so no one knows what a game and watch is it was basically one of their first like handheld systems and it's like a colored version so you can literally play uh the first mario brothers the Lost Levels, which, not the best decision there, Nintendo. Lost Levels is really damn difficult. Then you go with uh, like a, a game, old Game & Watch game they had. So it's like whatever. And apparently it has like clock functions because it's a Game & Watch. It had a clock function. So cool. I guess it's like oh. Mario themed clock. Yeah, it's like a Mario themed clock or something. It just has like you can run around in it and it just has like a clock in the middle of the screen. Huh. Mm -hmm. But regardless, it. it's um it's a limited edition that comes out in November. So for any of those random collectors, go nuts. <laughs> then afterwards, the one thing we knew was gonna happen is just like whatever. Super Mario 3D World getting a Switch version, which I'm perfectly happy about it. I'm like, oh, hey, you know, that's definitely something I'll grab. It definitely is a fun game, so I'll grab that for sure. And it's getting a uh, exclusive DLC. Bowser's Fury. Oh, huh. eh. what's that? I don't know. It just had a, it was just a tiny little trailer, like a little teaser just like pop in. 
Like, okay. <laughs> so oh. no one knows what it is. Yeah. Fun fact. Uh, I just noticed this. I was looking at my uh, stream stats. Uh, drop frames. 6,000, which is just 3%. Which granted, that's not... 6,000 is still quite a bit. 3% still quite a bit, but it's like just not much going on on screen. So if it was just the screen getting extremely freaking blurry, but audio's fine, I'd be fine with it. But, yeah. Yeah, I can check. If you want to, I can check your VOD. Uh, I'll check later. But, um... Continue on. Uh... Like I said, it was just basically a teaser for it because it was like a show of Mario 3D World and everything. And then right there at the end of the teaser, it said plus. And then it just like shows a little teaser of like this like new island, like that was like stormy and everything. And then it's just like Bowser's Fury. It's like, okay, new uh, expansion to it. Which I guess is kind of what the other games did, except they were called Deluxe. And then, uh, something really out of left field. Super Mario Bros. Actually, there's two things out of left field on this. So, first of all, being Super Mario Bros. 35, which is a 35 player Mario Brothers Battle Royale. That was really random, honestly. I mean, I didn't exactly expect that. It's just basically. Have you seen the gameplay for uh, Tetris 99 at all? No. It, it, it's basically kind of the same like mechanics but in this it's basically like every time you kill an enemy that enemy will be sent to the other players uh there's like random other stuff there's like a item roulette of like a random item you'll get or something like that uh so basically again if everybody's like on like random levels they'll probably completely destroy you because again if you kill a lot of enemies, you kill every enemy there, they're all getting sent to everybody else. You just have like a cluster of enemies on your screen. So, that'd be really rough. But basically, I mean, honestly, obviously not a fan of Battle Royale games, but mostly it's just the trend of them lately, like the FPS ones. Those pretty much suck. But these type actually aren't too bad. I'd be perfectly fine playing this. And I definitely will, because it's, it'll be out... Uh... October 1st. So, next month. I'll definitely play it. I'll oh, freaking play it on stream if people want. Then the other left field. Mario Kart. No, a little thing for Mario Kart, except... <laughs> it's Mario Kart in your house. Which is really random. It is literally Mario Kart in your house. It's basically, you get a toy model of uh of a cart so basically mario and a cart luigi whatever you get those it has a camera on the top of the like on top of the toy like facing forward so it's a ar game of just like you on your switch like you know it plays throughout your house like you can build tracks that way and just have it go without doing that like honestly it's just really weird honestly i <laughs> think you should actually look it up later like see the trailer for it because i mean it's okay. one thing in a way it's kind of like why but at the same time it's nintendo i mean they made the labo and then they turned the labo into a vr it's like <laughs> okay eh, it's kind of not expected but i'll say i won't buy that because i don't have the space for it in my house and it seems like you would need hardwood flooring i mainly have carpet i don't think that thing's gonna drive very well on carpet so, not the best of ideas. But it definitely seems nice. For sure. That comes out in October as well. Everybody loves October, apparently. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, Mario 3D World comes out like February next year. Which kind of sucks, but what it says. And then, of course, they have uh, Super Mario All-Stars, the SNES game. Brought it to the SNES online. So, there's those games for everybody. Which good uh compilation that's fun uh that's already out and then the main one which is the main thing we're going to be talking about for the next like couple minutes mario super mario 3d all-stars which or again if people did not hear anything about this or whatever it is super mario 64 super mario sunshine and super mario galaxy so a nintendo 64 game gamecube and wii 
those three are going into a uh, will be brought to switch sixty dollars for the whole package not or, bad yeah well sixty dollars so you know us wise i think in canada it's 80. <laughs> that fucking sucks <laughs> ha, canadian dollars canadians well canadian dollars are uh is pretty bad right now yeah but yeah it's like 80 there and i don't know about everywhere else but 60 dollars in, in america and a lot of people kind of seem like it's not worth it but if you think about it, it's 20 dollars per game i'd say that's worth it yeah. I, I mean, mean if, you think, if you bought if you don't own a uh, 64 a gamecube or a wii it definitely you should buy it on the switch though. i mean i'll say when it comes if to 64 know. and you have like a decent phone or a decent computer you don't really need it because you can absolutely play uh mario 64 like through an emulator if you want to do it that way if you want to be completely legit then obviously this way do it that way you know buy it legitimately now that there is an actual yeah. full legit way to do it that just clipped badly <laughs> this is what's super high up <laughs> i gotta figure out this damn clipping system anyway uh we got that and they're making both a physical and digital release of it there's both that's good yeah there is gonna be a physical and i'm actually considering behind the physical i'm like really considering it and i'm like I, it's it. gonna come out in like a few days or like a week oh, hold on when does this come out like the 18th i think uh yes it comes out the 18th it's about a week or so a week or two a week a week so basically is wait, wait hold on seven days 14 the four more days yeah basically uh next week week after somewhere around regardless you know, I, I could just put that calendar instead of doing this in my head it's, yeah it's ne next friday it's when it comes out so basically <laughs> you can either pre-order it digitally and get it that way and just instantly have it on the day or get it uh, through a pre-order and either possibly have to wait a little while or not because there are some places that will actually deliver to you on the day or uh i've heard some people actually get theirs like a day or two before it launched i've heard people get their games like before the game that they were pre-ordering launched in a way you're like oh that's cool but these days it's like that's bad <laughs> I and mean, it's good and bad because it's like you can't play it because it would just be sitting there in oh your system. Oh my god, you, you, you backed away again from the mic probably, and it caught it's your not, background noise again. <laughs> no, I'm not backed away from the mic. That's not how it works. It's like the way I talk or something else. Yeah, and then it sounds like you're super muffled and you become really loud. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, if it becomes too much of an issue, I'll figure it out. What, what time is it? Like 12 minutes in? All right. I'll figure that out later, but... Uh, I mean, it may only be on my side, because maybe Skype is weird. It could, it could be Skype, but I'll check, because I'm using the same mic for both me and, and both the stream and this, or recording now, but yeah. I'll figure it out, but... uh, Basically, yeah, when it comes to physical and that, the thing that gets me is it's limited. It's a limited release. Physical-wise, limited release. Definitely. But apparently, I don't know, but people are also saying it's a limited digital release, too. Like, a lot of these are. So, like, I know for a fact that uh, March of next year, that uh, Super Mario 3D Battle Royale will be gone. They're taking it away after a year. It's just like, why? Like, <laughs> what the hell is the point in doing that? And, like, basically just dropping what they made so i don't know where i mean that's kind of issue when it comes down to it it's just like why people want to pirate games and do all this other stuff is because you keep dropping support because that's what nintendo does they drop support for older games just constantly it's just like it makes no sense especially after one year i don't know about you but i have games that i've owned for years and i still haven't even beaten them or played them <laughs> so come on <laughs> that would suck uh, at least you're not cop and have not beaten Pokemon properly. True. <laughs> Very true. I mean, who can't beat Pokemon? I understand if it takes you a while, but it's 
it's, it's not hard to beat Pokemon, man. Yeah, I said that. I have beaten Pokemon with one Pokemon. It's not that hard of a game. Hmm. Well, it's hard when you have one, but you know. Mm. But it's like, uh, yeah, I can't do anything like... Yeah, it's hard to defeat the game with one Pokemon, but that's because every type that is, that is against you is the only weakness you have. And being a water dark type is not good for your health. Not really, for multiple reasons. <laughs> but I mean... Uh, goddamn frogs and their uh. stupid dark types. <laughs> eh. Um... Oh, uh, I just want to mention. Um, uh, would it have been fun if they ever said that they were going to release another Pokemon Red uh, game? Because that would have made people so pissed. What do you mean? Because people are so tired of Generation 1 being released over and over again. Like, they've already got like three different versions by now. You have the other Generation. One? You have Generation 1. Then you have fire red and green, leaf green. I mean, that's in what, three? No. Yeah, but it's like, it's a Gen 1, yeah. it's based on the Gen 1 storyline. And people are tired of Kanto, in general. And then mm. you have Let's Go even Let's Go Pikachu. That uh... one again is a, based on the Gen 1 storyline. So I would have loved the, if they just said, oh wait, by the way, here's Pokemon Red and White, or Red and Green, Blue. Red and White and Red and Green, yep, good job. I mean, Red and Green would be true, because Re Green was the actual version that was released. I don't know why they don't no didn't release Green TV. outside TV. Japan. Yes. Like, why was, why was it Red and Blue and not Red and Green, like Japan? I don't know. Probably because it didn't make much sense and no one really cared about an American audience. No one cared about, uh, whatever. Bulbasaur, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who cares about a vegetable? I mean, obviously people do care, but it's just like, I guess in America was like, it was not the highest. Everybody was either fire or oh, water. Nobody really cared much for grass. Yeah, but in general, grass type in Pokemon has never been like a high tier type to choose. Yeah. And of course, later we got Emerald and you know, Leaf Green, so. Yeah, not bad. I'm still a fire type user mostly. Same. I just prefer a fire. The only time I'll ever pick a water is Totodile. If Totodo is in the game, I'm picking him. It's just happening. So, if we ever play Pixelmon, you're choosing Totodile. I got you. Likely. <laughs> Likely, but yeah. I'm definitely not picking Squirtle. I'm not freaking picking a Pygmy. For anyone who doesn't know, in, uh, in Pixelmon, uh, Pygmy Pokemon, obviously, are basically very tiny. And their health is like, shit. It's just very... Not the best. It's like extremely tiny Pokemon just like on the ground. It's like, okay, that's not right. But they are adorable! Sure, but in practicality, it ain't good. I mean, they can sneak into places you wouldn't want them to. Mm hmm. Oh, they're. <laughs> yeah, you know Speak that. About that. Uh... You know that little basic uh, dude you got where you're blocking off a lava pit? He's like, they're going in there. <laughs> Damn guy can run away quite, a, quite well, too. Hmm. Um. Uh, but when it basically comes back to the Mario 3D stuff, a lot of people were in a way hoping it would be remakes, myself kind of included. I mean, it didn't have to be a full remake. That wasn't really the deal. I mean, it didn't have to be like a the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy or uh, the new Spyro uh, deal, but I forgot what it is. And it's bad enough I actually own Spyro. I own the Spyro mm -hmm. Trilogy, but I don't actually know the name, but uh, which I barely even played. Hmm. 
We're gonna get onto that How too. Daddy? Well, I mean, I prefer. See, this is the other part that is my hot take. I prefer the Legend of Spyro. Oh yeah. <laughs> People will really hate the, that trilogy. And I preferred it. It's like you get all these random powers and stuff, and then it's just like, oh, that's cool. But uh, then, and David Spade is your companion, <laughs> and that's some shit. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, so basically people were think, like hoping to be like remakes, but it wasn't. It was just straight up ports and they were upscaled. So remasters, if you want to call it that, but basically they were upscaled to be uh, in like 1080. So basically you get like a better look on a uh, on the games, but well, it is what it is. At the very least, you're getting three of basically the best Mario's like on the system I bet it was kind of like what what happened to uh Super Mario Galaxy 2 but apparently they don't want to talk about it like no one wants like everyone wants uh, Galaxy 2 on there but no I guess not maybe they'll add it later hmm as someone who's never played Sunshine completely I've only played at the first level and same goes for Galaxy definitely a good reason for me to get it to play those so definitely good reason i have definitely played all of mario 64 though for sure hmm. but i mean in a way i was kind of hoping to be like maybe some upgraded textures upgraded models perhaps i mean if you look at the pc port of mario 64 you look at like pictures of that and i don't know if you saw the picture that uh actually no no, uh, actually, there wasn't one there. Never mind. Nope. I'll have to send it later, I guess. But they made like an HD model for that port on PC. And it's just like, that looks really good. It's like, you could probably just add that to the original or do something or upgrade the controls a little bit. But then again, people would be like, no, this isn't the same Mario 64. It's ruined. I need authenticity. Like, oh, I didn't... Then again, the remakes of Crash and Spyro, everybody loves, so. Maybe the wood in this. Um, I don't know. Just basically, really think about getting the physical edition. I might. It's either that or just straight up pre-ordering digital. But I don't really know yet. I'm considering it. Then again, limited resources, so I should probably decide kind of quickly. Um. Mm -hmm. Really, you can't really add too much to this, considering you don't even own a switch. Pika. Buy a Switch. Whatever You'll they're not price gouged. For me. Again, they're price gouged. So when they're not, go buy a Switch. I ain't doing it. Well, nor am I. I don't have money for it because it costs fucking 300. I don't have. I don't afford that. You, mm -hmm. How much do you have? Not counting when you don't buy anything except for when you do like bills and stuff. How much do you have after? Most of the time. Well, I pay. I have like a thousand, basically fifteen hundred, if you take all subscriptions and stuff and the rent. Okay, we'll, we'll say this: uh, after bills and subscriptions, like literally everything you had to pay for, that is out of your control. I mean, subscriptions are technically in your well, control, but we'll say they're not. I have like two and a half. Wait, how much I have actually? Well, let's not say how much you have. I'm saying how much, like you get per month like how much is left over you to use or however you see fit like 3k but that's and then you remove like a thousand subscriptions at 2k so what then I buy soda because you know how much is that American wise then like you know US, or dollars 200 eh, I mean granted if you save that up each and every time then that'd be one thing but Mm. Yeah, that's what they're systemized. That's another issue. Yeah, no, you mentioned before something about if you tried doing that, they would see it as a way of payment and charge you for or whatever, but... Mm. And they'll charge me, but I would get less money. I don't trust them in that sense. Well, it kind of makes no sense because it's like you're already getting just from that. It's the exact same thing that they already know you do. So technically, you're not getting money from another source. You're getting it from the same source they already know about. So it's just like you're still holding on to it. Yeah, welcome to fucked up countries. I, I, 
I my mean, have you met my country? That stuff. Have you heard of my country? It's not the best either. I mean, at the very least, it's not that screwed up to where it's like, oh, hey, if you get paid some, and if you keep it, it's counted as another payment source. Like, no, it's keeping the money that you were paid. It's not you have to spend all your money that you get that month or else you're getting paid less the next month. We're kind of stupid. Yeah, but the, the issue is mostly that I, I buy so much fucking games because there's more games coming out that I want than I want. I, mean, I buy a ton of games too, and that's not... That wouldn't be much of an Yeah, issue. but you have a job. And get true. more money than I do. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> still. Like, you, you, your argument doesn't work in this case because you still get more cash than I do. Oh, get a job. Find something. Kind of hard when you don't have a, a education in my country. Whatever my parents says, they are like, oh, you can get a job. It's like, no, you can't. You can't get a job without education here. Have you missed I mean, the whole It's kind of the same way here. I mean, yeah, there's jobs you can do where you don't need the high school diploma or GD, and those are very, very limited. And then you have the ones where it's like you don't need a, like a degree or anything. And it's like, Again, that's still kind of limited. I mean, not a lot of the very short ones do, but it's like, I wouldn't want to. Like, it's all of them are really damn terrible. Especially around here, where I'm at, all we have are plants. Like plants, of, not even factories, just plants. Like carpet mills and uh, freaking all this other shit. My they was like, actual uh veg vegetari ve veggie plants like not the industrial plants yeah no 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 yeah industrial plants i'm not <laughs> yeah i work at a plant uh, there is a giant peach or like a giant freaking <laughs> apple freaking growing uh outside of town and i go work inside of it i had to pick all the seeds uh and make sure that it's like perfectly edible we're gonna giant <laughs> watermelon, buddy. It turned into a fruit. <laughs> that is what I want. Yeah. I'm not too tired. I promise. Freaking picking daisies, bro. <laughs> what? That would be a fucking fun plot to work. And you, not that you, the part with what you mentioned, but like a plant that actually looks like an apple or like a fruit or like a flower or something. And you're like, what the fuck? People would be so fucking confused why there's a plant looking like a plant. It's pretty meta, bro. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's just like a bunch of stuff there. And again, I work at a freaking solar panel one. But it's just like, it's still, it's like, in reality, my job is not hard. The job is not hard. It's very easy. It's just very tiring. And it's just, it, it honestly just kills me at this rate. Well, I mean, I stop really... dying. Yeah, that's not how that works. Like, I want to get out of it because in reality, I don't have much time to do much of anything. I mean, hell, like I said, when I go to work, I wake up at like four or somewhere around there in the afternoon. And then I have to, whatever, I wake up around four and then uh, I basically have a little time to take a shower, eat, and then I have to go to work for 12 hours, come home, stay up for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, go back to sleep. And I have to do that all over again. It just keeps going yeah. and going, and the only time I get to do some is my days off, and half the time I have other stuff I have to do also on the day off. So again, I don't get a lot of time to do the things I want to do. I just don't get it. And granted, that is part of being an adult, in most senses, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like I get even worse time. So at least people work eight hours, they have, like, more time to work with things. That's why I wanna fu I wanna fucking get enough so I can sustain on Twitch or something, because it's like, at least I know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> yeah, there's that, but at the same time, it's like, when it comes to, like, being a full-time, like, uh, streamer or uh if someone makes videos or whatever just a content creator being full time it's like it also is pretty damn rough i mean it's not as easy as just hey 
I stream, yeah, you, know, no. you stream and you record and even just like the I mean, keeping captivated with the audience. I don't and, too, but I don't want to use... The issue is that I don't want to rely all on one job because I don't trust one because I don't trust the, a workplace because, you know, some workplaces like, oh, you made one mistake, you're out. Like, mistake well, that just depends happens. On where you, I mean, that just depends on where you work. Yeah, but that's like, that's place I don't want to, that's the issue. Is, that's well, I mean, obviously biggest. you don't want to go for like two or more jobs. I mean, that's a pretty awful way to go. The only time you want to do that is if you're in like incredible debt or something. So, not a good idea. I sure as hell would not want to get another job. Like a second. If I want to get another job, I'm quitting this one. Mm. I uh, mean, that's why I want to be like, have one job and try and have streaming on the side. Well, uh, well even though if I prefer ma streaming main, I would want a second job, so. I mean, you could do that. I mean, you could have both in the case. Hmm. But the issue is to get a job without without dedication. Mm. I have a lot of knowledge, that's not the issue, it's that it's not on paper. And that's how it is all the time, it's always you need a paper to say what you can do. Like, oh, you know enough, in, enough about this subject, can you prove it? Like, no, I didn't have a gut. Why, how can you, I prove it without showing by action? Yeah, you have a piece of paper, you know. The piece of paper so, shows you scared, like. <laughs> That's also a question, when did life become a video game? That's basically what the fucking piece of paper is basically telling people. It's like, oh, this guy knows this, like. No, it doesn't, it doesn't tell that he know, He may know it, but does, does, is he able to do it? Two different things. Knowing and doing is two different things. True. I can mm. get jobs where you have to have a license though of some kind. Like yeah. I think you need like Better to drive forklift or something. Like I think if to drive forklifts, you have to have a li a specific license. I think that's so just if a you certification of a type. I don't think it's mainly yeah, license. Yeah, but some sort of certification license type of deal. There's like, hey, he's allowed to do this. I mean, technically I can start a restaurant, but I'm not go that good at cooking. Nor do I have the money to start one. Plus, you would actually need a, uh, well, here you would, I don't know about you, but need a license for being an entrepreneur. You can't just straight start something. I mean... You know, like a permit or something, it's like, you, you know, you don't have one. I think, isn't that also depending on what kind of stuff you start? I mean, if you start an online site, that would be like... Well, I mean, that's I fine. I mean, it, it depends on what you're doing. I mean, a lot of the stuff, you do need one, and then in some cases you don't. I mean, again, with the... Uh, Especially with food, if you're gonna be selling food, you definitely need a permit. Yeah, I think so. And in Sweden specifically, we need, if we want to sell alcohol or something, we need a license for that. You are not allowed to sell alcohol. Well, well you are allowed to se sell certain I mean, stuff like. Uh, well, that just needs a basic. Yeah, but to sell like hard, hard stuff hard stuff like liquor and like biscuit stuff like that and you need a license too, yeah but i mean you yourself no but the store wise yeah yeah i'm saying if you're like to work somewhere and sell it then obviously you just need your yeah that you know to be the I don't, appropriate you don't, age. that that that's just like you just have a workplace but like if you own a uh, restaurant or something yeah. To be able to sell like hard liquor and stuff like that, you need a license. 
I don't know if you need it for everything, but I think you need it for the heavy stuff that is like... I think you could sell like the sh like uh, the basic stuff. You know, the stuff that America does a drink. <laughs> no, I mean, trust me, we still have plenty. Just most of them, no one's gonna make it. They all want it imported. Then again, we have people who drink like the weakest stuff. Like, oh, this is the greatest. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure, all right. Weakling. Yeah. How long have we been going for? I'm very Too sure. Too Jeez. Honestly, I don't really think um, we need the other 30. Yeah, I don't know. Do we need 30? Do we have anything else? Do we have... I mean, not really anything definitive, no. I can't think of anything. This is well, how it's going to be for I mean, I mean, granted... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> granted, though, I mean... I still feel like doing three hours isn't exactly the best of ideas in the first place. Because even as a podcast, I don't really think I was going to listen to a three-hour podcast. I don't think people are listening anyways, but that's another video show. True. I mean, I've seen most of them go to, at the most, two. And then a lot of them just go to, like, one. Most goes to one. I'm more like... I mean, with us, I'm I mean, like we have this, enough to like at least this. last, like, one to two. But I feel and like that, we also to cover more stuff because the podcast you think about they often release weekly or like two times a week, so they cover it more. In... Most of the time, I at least see just like one per week, and then there are some that are like monthly. Yeah, but I feel like if it's monthly, you can do longer because it's like then you can you cover more. Well, it depends on what you're doing. Way. I mean, if you're trying to cover things that are going on in the world, then sure. But if it's just like, whatever, then... I mean, we're trying to cover a lot of gaming. We try to trash as much as possible. But I'll say this. I mean, if you're I'm... just focused around, like, tech or something, I feel like monthly, you're still not going to get as much because there's not really much going on in the tech industry within a month. Yeah, but when you're a nerd, a lot goes on. Depends. Unless we talk about Twitter because that's... No, right now, it's just a fucking fuck fest on there. Like, yep. seriously. Normally, I'm like, oh, Twitter's fun. And then now it's like, by the way, this guy said this, this guy's this. And I'm like, okay, seriously? You both are idiots and no one cares who wins. Mm. I mean, I don't really. And then again, no one wants, uh. Mm. I'm definitely not to get political here. I'm not definitely trying to get political here, but we all know who doesn't want who we all, def you know, basically in America, who one person we don't want. Not going to get anywhere after that, but yeah, no. Yeah, you don't want Donald Duck. <laughs> don't don't yeah. trust Donald Duck. Yeah, don't trust the duck. Actually, no, I think I'll trust the duck more than this. <laughs> that freaking guy. Not sure how that would go. So, I mean, how, what about Mickey Mouse? Do you, would, would you want Mickey Mouse? That guy's already a dictator. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he's probably already really crazy. I mean, okay. Have you, speaking of kid shows, as we were talking about as like our first topic, here's another <laughs> weird freaking thing that I've noticed. Let's say, you know the show Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Like, a, it's like the kid show that's on these days? The, he is freaking everywhere in that. And I mean, like, you know, it's like the clubhouse is named after him. They have freaking uh, places. It's like, you know, the Mickey thing or whatever. Just like they have like a ton of those. They just have like everything mainly named after him. And it's just like, this guy's a fucking dictator, dude. <laughs> like, you cannot say that there's anything crazy with that. So not Mickey Mouse. No. <laughs> Can't tell who's worse, like, him or Disney. Like, like him or Walt so Disney. I don't know about Goofy either. That would also probably be bad. I just don't think it would. Well, he'd be too cool. He just wouldn't know what the hell he was doing. <laughs> so, 
So what would be the difference from the current one? <laughs> no, I think that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they shouldn't get a businessman to be, uh, like, the, like, to actually uh, be in control of, like, high stuff. Don't, don't go there. Yeah, and that's the issue. That's why it succeeded so goddamn good was because... As I said earlier about playing the game, he knew how to play the game, who to look for to win. Like, that's an issue. If people learn the rules, you're losing. Well, it's not even the point of learning rules, because honestly, I feel like most of it was cheated in the first place. I mean, granted, our yeah, freaking voting Russia system has. is pure BS. Granted. Yeah. Because, I mean, okay, I mean, again, I said I wasn't going to get too political, and honestly, I don't... What I mainly mean by that is, like, obviously, I'm not taking any side here, because me, I'm on the freaking outside of the spectrum to where I don't really give a damn. So, when it comes down to it, it's just like... We have a we voting like system. We like stuff. Yeah, we have a voting system to vote for whoever we want, and then there's Electoral College that just picks. Like, I don't know how that works, honestly. I don't know how the system works. And if someone's yeah. just going to be off like, oh, well, how, you know, well, how can you not know if you're not, you know, you live there? I'm like, yeah, I don't pay attention to it. I never have. I didn't think I ever and, really learned it. Yeah, I don't go to the freaking brainwashing I don't understand how it works. It's like a poll deal. system. That's the issue. It's like, instead of vote, like, yeah, most like democratic countries work like, oh, if you get more votes, you win. Well, and that's then how it is in general. States. I mean, I mean, that's basically how it is. Like, more votes, you win. It's like, yeah, again, the other candidate had all the votes. Like, you know, it was like, oh, that was the people voted mainly for them. But Electoral College overruled. Like, that's not... Okay, democracy. Good job. You've done a fine job yeah. today. Again, yeah, it's a capitalist that's like, democracy. That's like the United States in a nutshell. They are like, oh, you want you, you say that they're the one who has most votes win? Nah, we're gonna scrap that idea. We're gonna add this other system that makes it that you need to earn points from different states. Like, no. Yeah, no, that's, that's not how it is. is. Oh, by the way, remember this metr metric system? Yeah, we're gonna scrap that too. Oh, you tell me the entire other world uses this Celsius, uh, Celsius, whatever the hell that freaking word is? Nah, we're gonna use, uh, you know, this other random thing we made up. That also it sounds German. Fahrenheit. That sounds I'm German. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. But basically, all America is trying to do is be so different from the world that no one would want to be them. And then they're like, oh, by the way, uh, do you want to work with us? Like, help us? Like, barely half of you understand what we're talking about. Mm. And mm. then you have your school system that teaches you fucking uh, the metric system in the end. Like... Why would you teach them a second system if you have one system? Like, I honestly don't know. I mean, they teach it to you in like a few different ones. I think only like two grades. I don't know. I don't really remember a lot of them, but it's just like they do teach it to you, but it, it doesn't get very far. You don't get it ingrained into your mind or anything. No, because. You know, it's basically like a democratic di dictatorship. Like, they try to control the people as much as possible about their agendas. And then everyone outside the United States is wrong. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, granted, <laughs> people, of course, the freaking Patriots are going to freaking show up out of nowhere and just be like, Oh, what the hell are you talking about? Freaking America Great. Like, yeah, no, I'm just... You're, 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 you're like, you, you just proved my point, sir. Hmm. Can't be as bad as freaking kids having to uh, do the Pledge of Allegiance every single morning that they get to school. They have to do it. Or not really that they have to. They don't have to anymore. But it's like, there were times when that was a thing. Like, so, what was your morning. first part about freedom? <laughs> what, what, where's that? It's, it's, it's a crazy freaking brainwashing shit that they like, do. I love how America is like... 
freaking pledging to a damn flag. Claims to be flag. the land of the free. It's literally in, a, in the national anthem they say in the land of the free. What well, again, land? No one really of cares Frey? about the anthem either. Granted, uh, they're trying to teach it to you, but again, American I never learned it. I never learned it because I never cared for it. I thought it was a terrible song, and I thought it was just a piece of trash. But I mean, honestly, the... literally everyone's just like, oh, hey, you know, uh, freaking people love the hell out of the anthem or whatever. I'm just like, that's a, not very good, especially song wise. It's not very good. Uh, was... Freaking guy who's singing it sounds like he has a gun pointed to his head reading off of a script. I mean, I think the song America. is so much outdated for today. For today, it literally has like a part where it's about cannons. Like, you don't even use cannons anymore. Well, yeah, again, it was made back then. That was the point, and they're not gonna change it. Because at that point, I go, hey, if you change it, it's wrong. You know, you don't change an anthem. You just go with what you made. <sighs> God bless the queen. <laughs> nah. Wow, are you talking bad about the Queen? No, I just think in general, a lot of the freaking ways people do things are just dumb in general. Mainly, I don't care for higher authority. I don't, because to me, it doesn't exist. Yeah, I know. I know that felt like... But yeah, Saints are in... Oh god, in two years, we have election here in Sweden. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend it doesn't exist. At this point, yeah, no one fucking I gives. I just don't pay attention. And if somebody's also, just like, do you know you what I hate the most? It's people that says, "Oh, you, sh your um, vote makes a difference." Like, yeah, no. yeah, that's what I was literally about to say. Yeah. I was like, then there's people just be like, "Oh, you should vote." It'll, uh, like, or like you know, if I didn't vote or something, they pick someone. I'm like, oh, that's a dumb vote. It's like, well, you should have voted. Then it's like, what the hell would that do? One person. One person does not make a difference in that. Only unless in you're, some cases, one person you're can make a difference. You're a little thinks the world is ending by um, talking a lot on Twitter about the the climate change. What was it? September 25th? September 12th? What was that? There was an end date. There's a... <sighs> There's a recent thing going on. There's like this cult. Or something i want to call it a cult it's like people going on about like a, a day that's like the end of the world or something as like get a bunch of people to like jump Again? in on it yeah it's like somebody it's supposed to be this month september something <sighs> i forgot what it was my god the the if, if it's not going to be then it'll be in 2024 i think is what they said what are you there not about november because that's when election is no no they're talking about september they said september something I don't remember, it was like September 9th, 12th, or something. I don't remember what it was. Nor do I, because like, I'm used to the world ending every year at this point, so you know. I mean, granted, after this year, I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one is oh, like, sure. even making a movie in which like, oh, the world is ending, okay. Can I get my pizza now? Right. Like, hmm. I mean, granted, all this shit would probably be over if, you know dumbass America and other people, but yeah, you, know, you know. I literally sat in Discord today, or read a Discord today. I was like, someone said, oh, we should go to war with China, like... Why? What? Why? <laughs> yeah, no one understood why, because what they, yes, what they have done, the, the, I understand the reasoning behind her or his argument was like, oh, they do bad things. Like, okay, I understand that. But going to war is a little bit extreme. Yes, we know China does bad things, but like... Well, again, they're still, uh, they're so communist, aren't they? Pretty sure they yeah, have, like, so a communist what... party, and it's just like, it's just, it's their government, you... man. I mean, it's just gonna happen, right? Like, if you're gonna go to war because uh, they treat their, their people bad, and spice on other people, because I promise you, your country is not fucking free of that. You dumb mm -hmm. Americans, like... I hate Americans that's like, oh, China is spying us. 
on us. Like, yeah, and your government is spying on you too, but do you care about that? Yeah, I don't think also, I don't think they understand that without China, without Taiwan, without Japan, basically without an Asian country, a lot of the shit that we own would not exist. Yeah, because so I mean, remember that when you have your shite labor phone? <laughs> All right, that's a different story. But I'm saying, like, in general, like, when you look on the back of a product that says made in Taiwan, made in China, like, yeah, if you're going to be sitting there, like, oh, we need to get it to where it's, uh, <clears throat> make, have us in America make it, it's like, <laughs> oh, those suck. Wasn't it like a Simpson episode that was like. Uh, I think it was American. Dad? It, it was one of them. He said, oh, I bought a lot of American stuff, made stuff. Everything exploded. <laughs> It's like everything just breaks down and break. I forget what the show. I think it was American Dad, but I don't actually remember. American Dad or Family Guy? Could have been some. Oh look, I my myself. Nintendo 3DS is made in China. Yeah, parts of it from a company in Japan. <laughs> Can we point out that's kind of ironic, though? What? <laughs> that Japan is using China too. I mean, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. They have a lot of stuff there. And then you have IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever buy IKEA, folks. Yeah, I'm telling you, I mean, Swedish I mean, you stuff can. is trash. I mean, you can, but I mean, you're just not going to understand any of the instructions. It's going to make no damn sense. And you, you could rather buy Lego. I mean, you could build better stuff with Lego. That'd probably be fine, but you would need to sand down the leg the top Lego bits afterwards, because otherwise you're just like probably gonna be hurting every time you try to sit down or whatever. I mean, uh, if you it's just a you plastic to frame, and you're just flat, like like if you have you know one of the big um, what is it called like platform stuff that is the ground. Mm. If you turn it upside down, it should work. Well, no, because then it's just an imprint. Because it still means that there's like holes there for things to go through, so it's still annoying to deal with. This is what no, you're I'm using it for. About, no, often here, often here, when it's a, it's a, some of the ground ones doesn't have an underside. It's just flat underside. I don't know if ours does or not, but. Because again, I don't really use Legos too much. Not because I don't want to, because they're expensive. Yeah, why? Why is goddamn plastic so expensive? Because of what you can make with them, it's freaking a lot. I mean, hell, I, I would love to grab like the Star Wars ones, but those are huge. I'd have nowhere to put it, and it would take like a week or two, probably even more considering how much time I have. Like, you know, how much time I don't have, really. Yeah, I just... If you ever get, like, a week off and you can find, like, a good Lego set, you should stream and build it. I don't have anywhere to do that, though. I have no space. Literally none. What makes space? Duh! I don't have any space to make. My room is basically full. You're American! Just use some TNT and blow a hole in the wall or something. Yeah, that's not how that works. We don't own TNT off of uh, the random bits. You can't even buy TNT. You buy a firework, but that's a different story. That's also a thing. Why is it? Uh, why is America like one of the worst countries when it comes to law? When it comes to like, sir, stay with the firework law. Like, oh, you can't uh, buy fireworks here. Like, it's because of the dryness and like everything, like it dry or humid. It's just basically like where you are so basically uh in a lot of places i think has a firework ban yeah because like of how dry it is there i mean granted just setting off the firework it doesn't need to be like too close near a tree you just you are likely to set things on fire by using them because of how dry the climate is in that area yeah so. i'm just telling you let's burn fire burn forest no fire yeah, I don't think you could burn fire, and I don't think we should be burning forests either. Yeah, it's where we get this coming. Up. This coming we from the effort. person who spammed team trees for the last every day that it was a thing. 
I mean, good cause, but still. And they're like, let's burn the forest! Like, like that was a quick 180. <laughs> like a year ago, like, hey, save the forest! No, burn them! That wasn't even a year ago. Pretty sure that was like earlier this year. No, it was at the end of last year. Oh, fine. Oh, freaking this entire year has been a blur. Granted, this you know entire year, year I've been is? working. Obviously, I know what year it is. But I'm saying that... I mean, how I've been working this entire year. I got a job... I mean, I got this job in December of last year, and I've been working ever since. So, quite a big blur. Yeah. And I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want this job anymore. I want something else, but there's nothing for me to get. I looked around and, and then, I don't see anything. And then like this summer you had to take a break from your job because of our nice virus. Yeah, I mean, I've had five weeks off. Five weeks. And wouldn't you know it, I never got paid for any of them. Because yeah. fuck you, unemployment. <laughs> Welcome to America, where they Benefits, fuck you with eh? unemployment. <laughs> exactly. I mean, granted, I'm not the only one who's having these issues, but it's just basically every time that it gets filed, like the company files it for me. Like that's what they're supposed to do. Because if I do it, I'll get less money out of it. Like if they do it, I get more. But I'm supposed to get more out of it. But. I don't know if it's like they're following it wrong or they're not reading it right, but every time it's like, you don't make enough wages, I'm like, what pay period are you looking at to say that? Because again, it's just like every time they keep saying, I don't make enough in order to earn yeah, it. Yeah, and at this point, if they say that enough, I feel like it's not their fault. I think it's the workplace fault. It kind of seems that way. I feel like what they're doing is they're putting the pay period or the time that we are off to back or whatever. It's like, like they're putting that as the pay period or somewhere around there. So it's just like, obviously I'm not gonna get enough wages because I make no wages during that time period. I'm off. I've made a ton of money, okay? I freaking, every time that we are off and I get like a benefits pay or I'm supposed to, I get a letter in the mail saying like how much I've made wages wise because like oh hey here's this to say uh if we made a mistake I look at him like yeah I think you did but I can't do anything because the last time I emailed them about it they said email them to uh and everything to like appeal I did that I appealed I went to the freaking pandemic uh whatever uh I forgot what it's called, it's P-U-A is like the acronym, but I did that too, which basically just means like if you were off because of the virus for any reason, like if the work shut down or if you were getting tested for it or whatever, then you, that applies to you. None of them did, apparently, because I emailed them and I never got an answer back. Huh. Never got an answer. So I got no, I got five weeks, never paid. And if anybody's wondering, that's a lot of money. It is a ton of money being lost. I make 500 to thir like 300 to 500 per week. It depends on how many hours I work that week. Like one week I make about 300 something, the next 500 something. If, it, if I work the full time. And yeah. Obviously. Losing a ton of money. Because the work either shut down. And I'm not getting that one, or I'm not getting whatever I'm supposed to be owed from unemployment. Which is worse now, because they've uh, lowered it. It's like, oh, people are just being out and getting free money. So they're like, nope, we gotta lower it now. America, Fox! I mean, it, it's more of like a state thing, I think. Because it's, it's like our state mainly doing it. I'm sure other ones are doing it too, but mine uh, especially is like one to lower it. I think we we're getting like 900 at one point and then they lowered it down to like 600 and I don't know what it's at now and that's per week so, so yeah basically I would be making at the time if I was getting paid for it every week I'd be out I would be getting more than I normally would working the week so it's like hey 
good <laughs> it's a good reason to stay out but no huh. mm, regardless I got none of it it's bullshit American government screw you I don't like you it's freaking uh hear the door bust down FBI <laughs> FBI open up which I don't understand that meme. It's like, oh, hey, FBI, open up. And it's like, technically, there's no reason for me to open up. You already busted out on the door. <laughs> like, FBI, open up. Break it's the like, door. Like, I mean, I, if, if, it's, if it just says someone screaming FBI, that's different. That, okay, yeah, that that's how that's supposed to go. FBI, open up. It's like, you've already opened up. You busted down the damn door. Jesus. Come hmm. in. You can open up the rest, so they don't have to bust your fucking other door. Yeah, I guess I could, but at that point, if I'm getting up closer, then that get... That's the other thing, apparently, is that if you get too close while they're doing something like that, it's like, oh, you are getting aggressive or whatever. Like, I, oh, Not getting into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the United States, where if you're brave, you're aggressive. It's not even that, just like if you're like wanting to give yourself up. You just like walk up to him to give up. Like, okay, sure. Come with you. Nope. Being compliant? Apparently not. But again, we're not getting into that, but that's a can of worms I'm not going to open. What do you have a can of worms? I will not that's pull the pin on that grenade. Stop having grenades and can of worms. I don't have a can of worms, but I do have a grenade. Put the grenades in the can of worm and then throw it away. That may be work. You didn't even hear me, did you? <laughs> I don't have a can of worms, but I do have a grenade. I don't care about the grenade now. I'm talking grenade. about the can of worms and the grenade. Okay, cool. But I'm saying, in I'm actually being dead serious. I do have a grenade. <laughs> it is not live. There is a whole drone on the bottom. That's the point. And ah. the uh, actual mechanism to do it is completely burnt out. Like the fuse is gone, everything else is just like it's it's a prop. That's all it is. It's yeah, say prop. that the devil, the devil FBI is busting your doors down. Yeah, they see that like, <laughs> like yeah, dude. that's gonna be that's also a fake. Like, granted, is it enough that you have? You could probably use it as a fake because it looks like a real one. Granted, it's probably not the right model anymore but grenades grenade. but point is it's like i mean if you even have an older model they're gonna be like he has a grenade and again it's like you know if it could work normally say if you're trying to get away from i don't know robber or something like you do that they'll probably think it's real you can get a jump on them or like escape or whatever it's like that's a possibility but it's still not a thing to do yeah i don't even know where that grenade is it's either in a drawer or it's in the floor. It's either in like my dresser drawer somewhere or it's like somewhere in the yeah, floor. Yeah, he's lost his grenade. That's gonna be bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the pen's already out, buddy. Well, with that said, it's three hours now. Yeah. That's basically gonna be it. Ending off on grenades, as we do. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't even need to do the freaking. Ending uh, off <laughs> things anymore granted um <sighs> since i'm gonna be splicing this together i will post these but it's just for you to read off a, off the screen because there's no other use for it <laughs> i can like post these little bits in chat just for you to read off screen because again, what have you done it's just chat so you know discord and uh it's this one? weird and then the audio podcast, which again, vi since this is recorded as a video on my side, you are just going to be able to read this off screen or on the screen. I'll put it in the description of the video. So it's whatever. But funny. What is that? What is that other kind of stuff in there? Oh, the multi stream. Forgot about that. Yeah. Nah. Four commands on. On the stream deck, Discord, audio podcast, the multi stream for me and you, and uptime. So, 
Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'd say we're pretty much good to go. So again, for following us on our social uh, media, we have Twitter, which to let people know, I mean, these days I don't really do it anymore. And uh, I'll, if I get back to watching the show, I might. But basically, you might get spammed on my end. And obviously I retweet plenty of giveaways because it's my main profile. I'm not going to make another one to do that. Mainly as if you do that, you actually will not be eligible for the giveaway. They'll just say like, nope, uh, we're not going to, we're going to exclude you from it. But so basically, uh, I do that. So don't turn on notifications for me. Is this rated 18 plus? Don't do it unless you're perfectly okay with that. And uh, let's see. Then we got our YouTubes. Mine's next to see. This is Sweden Boy Gaming. And... And Discord. I've already put my Discord in the chat on my end, and it'll be in the description for for the actual yeah. video bit. Also, why did you put in your just chat when you're not streaming? For it to be on screen. It's a reminder, really. It's more of a reminder for everyone to notice. <laughs> so it's basically, like, you were like, just I'm a gonna reminder. put this up. It pops up on screen, so it's just a reminder. That's all this. Ah, uh, you. Fucking moron. Nah. I did that on purpose. That was the reason. Yeah. Oh, Dios mio. Yeah. <sighs> so, that's gonna be that one. Um, what else am I missing? We got that. Cast box. I already put it. Uh, that's the audio one. No, uh, we have. This is the YouTube, Twitch. Same for me. Next, I would see his is Sweden Catboy underscore gaming. So yeah, get that. Everything going. is my is in my description and in his description it should be. I hope it will be. It's I not in the last episode. At this point. That's because whenever you export on Twitch, it doesn't actually have a default. You have to type in half the time. I don't type anything when I export. I just straight up hit export. Oh, I put yeah, it but I have it as export. default in upload defaults. So I just copy that. Yeah, that's if you're doing that. If you're uploading. For exports, you don't do it. It doesn't have a default. It should. Yeah, it's kind of the dumb, but I do use the, up, the YouTube default uploading I have. I mean, granted, what you could do is just export your stuff as private, and then when it gets there, just uh, switch it to scheduled. That's good to go. But yeah, that uh, about wrap, wraps it up. Not that much else to go for. So thank you yeah. for everybody for watching or listening to this episode. And yeah, pretty much that's about it. So mm. hope to see you next time for that. And if you're wanting to catch more streams later, again, Halo is likely going to be Wednesday, and thir Wednesday or Thursday. Depends on what we feel like on those days. So we'll see. See you later then.